It's English, by the way. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, so my English accent is gonna be it's gonna suck. I haven't talked English in a long time. No, so you really have a good bro. English accent. No, I I you haven't talked your English. British in accent. Listen to me, mate. Can yeah. I have a bottle of water? Okay, bottle of water, man. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm not gonna do that British accent here, man. It's First of all, this is, this is our second episode. Hey, wait, wait. Is this the intro already? This is the intro. Bro. Oh, bro, no. This is the start of it. Oh no! Okay. This is the second episode. We we are here with you. I mean, I'm here with you. No, it's Fact. not. This bro, is we never had an episode. Nah, no, nah, I had an episode with him. You Let's weren't go. there. You weren't invited. <laughs> what? <laughs> Lump him up, man. Lump him up. Where's that episode? Is it online? Somewhere? I, is it's it? online. He's lying. He's lying. It's not online. It's right. it somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys had a had a date. Yeah, it was Kai. Co- cozy. We had osmosis. Uh, oh, yeah, oh, of course. Bro. I was there. I was watching, bro. You were watching, but you yeah. weren't there. Yeah, I forgot about that, man. This, the, this is actually fun. the continuation because we're going to continue after your shows. That is so true. This is the and a new format as well with a new picture and everything. That's fact. The, the, new, the new thumbnail. The new thumbnail. Wait, but wait, wait. Because today is it is it like three person thumbnail? Shouldn't I be the AI girl? The yeah, that's going to happen. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I was working on that. Oh literally. my god! So that's on this so cool. uh, on, on each episode, special yeah. episode, we're gonna re- make because on Spotify you can edit the thumbnail uh, episodically. Episodes. So you can change the thumbnail when you have a special guest to yeah. have the special guest in it. Ah, and we don't plan on having many of those, so I can just like quickly edit one up. That makes sense. Uh, did you make it yourself? Uh, partially. I used AI as help, but I did do a lot of the uh, shit I, th- I thought you were going to say like another uh, pinch pinch uh, from a fiver, you know what I mean? Nah, nah. <laughs> I do have something for you. Okay. This is from Fiverr. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a card. Okay. Ooh. Can I open it? Ooh. Am I allowed to open it right now? Oh, it's a knife. What? You Don't put yourself, bro. <laughs> oh, wait. <laughs> it's, uh, I hope the camera didn't see that. Because <laughs> <laughs> uh, tonight will be the knife and I will fall for you. How do you guys do it with a knife? Oh, it's like you stab through it. Okay. Bro, I, no, bro. What the <laughs> fuck are you doing? How bro, do you what, what are you doing? Do you put it on the in the side, yeah, like that. I never opened it with a knife. I'm not that cool. Yeah. I normally open it. No, that's strange, bro. What, what's strange about this, bro? This is really strange. I don't know what. Oh, my knife isn't sharp anymore. Ah. <laughs> so you go like this, and then okay. you open at the top. Okay. Something. That's how you open. I received something. Let me check. It is a. Uh, it's the first edition. Because you're our n- newest guest. Oh, what? What is this? Is this your face? Yeah. No, no, no. Oh, you look <laughs> like a serial killer, man. I can can I show it to the camera? Yeah, yeah of course you can show it to the camera. Uh, zoom show in. Show, 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 show oh. <laughs> Why are you giving him a picture of you? <laughs> One free huh? TCI mug. What does it mean? Uh, the next yeah. time you're on the show, you get a free TCI mug. Oh, yeah. the consistently inconsistent mug. Mug. Yeah. That is cool. <laughs> that is actually pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. You man. know what the funny? Yeah. What the cool part is, I don't even have one. Yeah, we what? Is the cool we part. didn't order it yet, but you ah. you'll get one. But wait, can I? Can <laughs> I wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, wait. Yeah. Can I get one uh, where I'm also the thumbnail? We yeah, can do that. Yeah. We can Is do that that. possible? That'd be cool. Yeah, 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 yeah I can do we that. We'll send it to your uh, house. No, no, don't do, that, don't do that. Don't do that? Don't do that? I'll just get it. Okay. Come back in the next episode. We'll <laughs> no, just, just go just like this. I'm just put that here, man. Wait, wait. It's okay. Nah, we're going to show, show the picture to the camera. I did. I, I oh have yeah. not. It's, oh. it's, too, it's way too far. We, I have like 10 uh, of those pictures. Uh, and I plan on giving. It's not It's not the sharp. It's not sharp. Put your hand before your face, guys. Put your hand before Before your own face, my Okay, that, right. was it, that was it. I have like yeah, ten cool. of these pictures, so I'm gonna use one, uh, one for every that's guest. That's actually pretty cool. No, you can take this with you, bro. <laughs> I will. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in my uh, wallet. In my uh, wallet, and then yeah. uh, when I when I get into a car crash, like, who is this person? What does DCI mean? <laughs> <What is it>? <laughs> 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 actually, that's a good Easter egg. That's hilarious, bro. That's hilarious. Uh, free mug. That picture looks so stupid, bro. I l- the thing was, um, I went to the fucking Turkish uh, embassy. Embassy for what? To get my new ID, and I had to like. Wait, uh, are you Turkish? Yeah, half Turkish. Yeah. No, no, people wait. have. No, wait, uh, you have like a Turkish dual passport. passport. Yeah, yeah, they're allowed. I have ah, three. Ah, oh, three. Yeah, big yeah. one thing, yeah. I have three uh, nationalities. Got a Bosnia one too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got that recently. Yeah. Is uh is the Turkish uh, passport really strong? Uh, uh can it, it go kind to of multi- multiple I'm languages? I'm not allowed to enter the USA. Is that the only thing? Ah, oh, it makes sense. It's, 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 strong. it's the beard, bro. It's the beard. <laughs> it's the beard, bro. It's the beard. What's your? It's literally. Uh, the two of my nationalities are like prohibited to enter the what? USA on like regular uh, terms. Isn't, oh my God, my head isn't turned like off. Give me a second, boys. Oh, All right. Are you back? Um, so basically, I'm half Bosnian. That's Yugoslavia, and I'm half Turkish. That's Turkey. The two countries are on the 
uh, blacklisted uh, countries list Damn. for uh, the USA. And yeah. he's Somalian. He's also blacklisted. That's kind of sad. No, I don't have a Somali passport. Yeah. yeah. But the Dutch passport is very powerful. Yeah. yeah. That's like when I go to the USA. I'm Dutch. I'm, Dutch. I'm yeah. white. <laughs> <laughs> Your name is like Gerard. <laughs> <laughs> Gerard is one of the best Dutch names, man. No, no man. man. It is. No. No. Ruben is. Ruben is just a whack name. People man. told me I look like Ruben. Rick yeah, Ruben. you kind of. Who's Rick Ruben? You look more like a Mark. A Mark. Yeah, yeah, yeah Loki with the glasses. You look, yeah, you look like a Mark. Mark That's man. crazy. The Marks do be looking like foreigners. No cap. I don't know Marks, bro. I yeah, we do from school, from high school. Our teacher. Oh, the English teacher. No. His name what Mark? I think it's Mark. Or the name was Mark. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who you mean. The, 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 the Technics Club. What year was this? From the first year. He left school. Oh, I don't remember if his name was Mark. His name is Mark. Oh, okay. I, 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 I had the project with him. It was a... Uh, he didn't look that white. Strange guy, man. He was very strange. Yeah. But you would like touch kids and shit. Oh, what? Bro, bro we thought you means to give you a hand. No, 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 no. <laughs> bro, we had, a, we, had a, we had a German, bro, that's so bad. We had a, we had a German teacher who uh, who made like all the, the pretty girls sit in front and we like like lean over them. You know what I mean? Like that's to crazy. just do like you, talk. You to didn't them. do shit. Bro, I was too young to understand what's going on, man. He was like a <laughs> nasty boy, but I didn't care, bro. Like my, uh, my German uh, teacher used to say, in Leiden, send the Maiden. <laughs> which means in Leiden, which is a city, the girls out there. And they always told us to go study in Leiden. Ah. there's where the girls are. The interesting thing and is... And then I did study in bro, Leiden. Bro, you know what's crazy? And I understand why he said that. <laughs> you know what's that, actually bro. crazy? <laughs> you know what's crazy? I had one German teacher who was that, but the other yeah. German teacher uh, who we got afterwards was like, we needed to open the uh, the, the, the classroom by yep. saying a, a thing to him. Mm-hmm. So he was like, uh, we had to say like in the whole class, was like, Guten Tag, and then like yeah. his name. And then he was he would say Guten Tag, meinen uh, Studenten, or something like that. Yes. And then afterwards we would say uh, Wie geht es euch? And he said uh, Gut und Ihnen. Yes. And then we would say Auch gut, danke. Yes. And that would always be like it's, he was literally like, like intro. yeah, not, like, just like an intro. But then like yeah. even if your day was bad, you had to say it. You yeah. know, what, like, you had you be inside it was silent, and then everybody was like, okay, you need to say it now. And How that often was, like, was your day bad? Uh, often enough to s- not say it s- secretly. He was a bad like boy. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody was saying it loud. When, like when, when, when the teacher's like, "No, what is he here?" He's like, "He's not." Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, but it, it was kind of like it was. It was like he tried to, um, to show his authority. You know, yeah, but yeah. it was like it was like a German teacher who tried to try to show his authority, authority by doing that. Like it's pretty. Uh, I don't know, man. It's very mustache. Have you guys seen the Give me German? German. <laughs> Give me pleasure. Mustache man. Give me pleasure. No, did you guys see know. the mus- uh, the movie? Uh, the movie the with German the future. Movie. No. What? Where he yeah. goes? Where he goes? And he wakes up. No, no, no. I've seen that one too, but it's not the one on the moon. No, I'm not what talking about. So I'm not talking about the guy with the mustache. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> calm down. <laughs> Wait, the guy with the striped. Have you seen the T-Rex, T-Rex movie? The what? The, the where the mustache man actually lived, and he's on the dark side of the moon, and uh, this American astronaut goes there. And then he rides a T Rex and hunts the American astronaut. I actually, I actually heard about That's this a sequel, plot. Actually. I actually heard about this plot, but I haven't seen the movie. The sequel, sequel of what? The one where he came back. The the first one was on the moon, and the second one, the sequel, was on Mars, I think. Okay, and there, that's where he was writing the, the T-Rex. Ah, okay, no, I didn't see that. It's one. a good movie. Check out the Mustache Man movie. I was talking about uh, it's a I don't remember if it was a movie or a t- show, but it was about this uh, German teacher in Germany. He was giving history class to his uh, students, and they were like, "Ah, uh, like, like we also used to say, I don't understand why people became par- followed him. I don't understand why people yeah. became Nazis, basically, because they were like, we're s- we're too smart to to be like them." And the teacher was trying to explain to students that it is not so plain that it is it sounds so simple, but it is really. Something that you also could have been part of. And they were like, no, nah, we would never. And then he started this social experiment without telling them. And he started by little steps. For example, he would say, uh, the other class, you guys are smarter than them. You guys know that, right? Because you had better marks. And they were like, yeah, of course, yeah. we got better marks. We're the better class. Yeah. Like in a fun type way. It was like, yeah, we have better class. And then one lesson, the other class was in the room. There's le- a floor beneath them directly. So it's like let's stomp on the let's stand let's stamp on the floor, and make some noise to annoy them, and they would join him, annoy them, and he would take it step by step. 
Yeah. They would do make them do more extreme party. It was like, ah, let's not just talk to them and shit. And everybody started kind of like went with it in a jokey way. Yeah. Till it got really extreme. And the silent shooter kid in the class went really radical. What? And he started to uh, basically become a Nazi and fuck up the whole school. Damn. He came with the guns and shit. He was like, really? Who's Damn. not in my class, bro? You don't deserve to be here. No. We're better. He was like shooting up the school and shit. Did he actually shoot up the school? Yeah, yeah. He, shoot up, he sh- shot up the school and shit. So just that's that's bad, wrong. bro. That's but I don't, so no, 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 but I don't remember it, it right? was based on a true story or not. That's what I'm trying but to find it, out. But is it so actually gone right? Like that, that I, what? Isn't that like it went right because he proved his point? Actually, that would, something, that would be something crazy. that you would say. If you were a teacher, yeah, you would be like, yeah. this is right. I proved my point. At the end of the movie, he went to jail, so I don't think he proved much. That was a movie. Of a TV show, something like that. Should we say free him? It's always like shit like that, man. Like, I I remember (laughs) remember my friend once told me the story that has no fucking relevance to the story whatsoever. I, I was like talking about how my day sucked, and then randomly he started talking about how this mom. Uh, was like really broke and she had a kid and the kid wanted like to have sneakers and um, so she had to like save up all the Christmas money for the sneakers yeah so she's saving up all this money working extra overtime this and that and basically um, the day he got the sneakers he lost his legs oh no I think I know that one but I don't remember and where and, and then he was like you could always be that kid and I was like what the fuck does this <laughs> have to do with me <laughs> having a bad <laughs> but isn't this like so in the context isn't this like the the conversation you had with him or the story he told you was not in the context so you just decided to do the same thing for us right now exactly that's the whole point uh, th- thanks <laughs> <laughs> thanks I'll, I'll remember this I'll that's remember. why I said it reminded me of that story ah yeah because okay yeah because it, it, it makes no sense in the story well, for everybody who's listening, uh, thanks for <laughs> for having me. <laughs> 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 it was a good run. Nah, no. Nah. No, nah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. You had a good run, bro. Did I? Nah, sure. Let's talk about you for a second. Uh, for the people that don't know you, this is, uh, should I call your real name? Like uh, the last time. Government. I didn't say it the last time. You can say are, are my first real name. That's what, I'm not going to say the full government name. <laughs> Just like me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Salam alaikum. And your then the beep, 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 beep. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Nah. Do I know your address? I know where you live. Yeah. I know where you live. I've yeah. been to your house. Both. Also to your house. Yeah. yeah. Is this same, still the same house? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah That's yeah. nice. So we got Mr. Nawod. Yes, sir. Akuma Jin. Konnichiwa. The short king. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 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 I'm not tall. <laughs> Akuma type beat. Yeah, that's also true. Um. What else? Do you have any other monikers? Let me, let me, let me. Uh, uh, what's your favorite sex position? Yeah, <laughs> yo. Uh, uh, I think uh, the one is called uh, respectfully declining. You know, like you said. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's no, my favorite no. too. Man. No, I think uh, I think you could say like uh, also the the founder, uh, the founder of the Anite Marines Altar, the founder of the Akuma Club. I was, uh, I was gonna say the lead of uh, a night or yeah, you can say I'm I'm saying Marines. founder. Really? Yeah, I found it. I found uh, it, bro. It's like my idea. Like. But you're also like the lead. Um, Yeah, but the possibilities are that uh, I'm not going to be the lead anymore. Uh, who's going to be the lead then? Uh, I don't know. Like, if someone got the bag, hit me up, man. Yeah, you'll still be like the managing guy, right? No, I would be still be the founder, but I w- no. If you will not be doing the managing? No, if, uh, if, if there would be a very good large amount of money yeah. uh, for my position, then uh, I would sell it, of course. It's a ah, business. Okay. It's a business yeah, yeah. at the end of the day. Because... Like you just keep like a part of it though. Yeah, but I like look al- at look at daily pa- daily paper. I al- I still I already have it because my rights are at the album. You know, so ah uh, yeah, yeah. that uh, that's good. Yeah, if that shit blows up, uh, that's good, man. You never know the possibilities for that's the right true. amount of money. Everything's yeah. possible. That's true, and that's what I'm looking for. <laughs> nah, not not seriously, but like, um, there is a place where you can like build a business and sell it and make a living off that. Yeah, and yeah. I believe that the the visions. The the vision the vision that I have is 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 possible with that, if that makes sense. Definitely, bro. With what you're demonstrating for the people that don't know, a night under, under Marius Alter, aka Akuma, it's like an acronym, right? Yeah, the Akuma Collective. Yeah. yeah, the Akuma Collective. Um, it's a heavy metal slash deathcore. It, yeah, it's metalcore slash metalcore slash deathcore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's a band, a collective. Yes, sir. 
of people that are really good at what they do coming together individually. They could be from other bands, but they come together as the Akuma Collective yes, to perform under the Akuma acronym. Yeah. Am I missing something from that? Sorry? Am I, miss- am I missing something? Um, You don't have to be in a band. And, oh, yeah. and also... Like the like the Indian dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He was an Indian. He's a... I'm sorry, Mister. Sorry, no, And also the girl with the with the curls. Also, she she's Indian? No, she's not in a band. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't do it. Like Are that, you obsessed man. with Indians? Or <laughs> nah, I like Indians. Yeah. They got good culture. Yeah. No, I, but love, uh, I love tikka masala. But also, <laughs> bro, I love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, 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 bro. I love I love my Turkish boys, man. Like uh, the lahmacun is going crazy. Bro, that's facts. That's yeah, yeah, facts, bro. Yeah, okay, Respect okay. the culture, bro. Yeah, culture facts. appreciation. Uh, that's not the right thing to say here, I think, in this context. Not appreciation, not appropriation. Uh, wait, is that a difference? Yeah, yeah. Appreciation course, yes. is uh, <laughs> you appreciate me saying it. I like Chinese food. Ah, okay, yeah. Appropriation is me saying... Uh, no, appropriation is you doing something that's not your culture. For me example, ah. me, me a white person with a dreads. Yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of people see that as cultural yeah. appropriation. Ah, yeah, I always read it as appreciation, but it was the two it's appropriation, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You take it as it's your own. Like uh, like with Halloween, people dress up like Mexicans. Or like no, that's different. No, what? That's funny. No, no, no. no. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah no, but no, that's, no, that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's the context, no, what you're right? Saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. It started there. Like, people do uh, not like... That's funny because... No, no, no. It, it didn't... It, it more as in... Uh, that's like kind of... A, you try to be like them. It's more like... Uh, because it's Halloween. You don't take it really seriously. It's more like... No, but the, still the white girls wearing... The the Japanese kimonos and dresses like without a special occasion. Ah, uh, yeah. Like yeah. if you go to like this this event in Japan, of course you're gonna dress accordingly to their culture because it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. But if you have like a gala or whatever, you always just wear Japanese dresses and like do the Japanese makeup and whatnot. At that point, it's like, bro, you're not even Japanese. Why are you trying to you know take over the yeah, culture okay, like yeah, it's your own yeah, culture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But isn't like cultural uh, appropriation? Isn't it like a? I'm not gonna say it's a myth. But the people who say it's a problem aren't even in yes. the culture. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. So Chinese people don't sh- Chin- like Chinese Japanese people don't don't give a shit. Nah. Like yeah, they're yeah. like, oh, thanks for yeah. like. It's a Western us. thing, man. Yeah, bro. I saw a very int- I saw Doctor Phil talk about it recently. Yeah, and it made so much sense. He talked about how the woke agenda is making like problems just to make problems, as in um, like the police defunding situation yeah. in America. He was talking about how the people that are talking about let's get the police defunded and shit are the people that live in the suburban hoods, like suburban neighborhoods where you got fucking nothing happening, you know, Timmy is stealing your chickens from the fucking farm or whatever the fuck. Yeah. But the people that are living in the hood, the the one that are getting robbed, this and that, why would they want less police? Yeah. So, so can, the people that fight, yeah. So like they can rob more. No, but like the the shop owner, he's not gonna rob. No, true. He gets robbed, so he's like, "Well, bro, I need my protection. Why the fuck yeah. are you take, why are the fuck are you defunding yeah. the police? I need them, bro." Yeah. And the people that are talking about defund the police, this and that, are the people that never witnessed that shit. Yeah, true. And yeah. I can I can see that. And, and that's it's also the because the, the people that make those decisions most of the time are the people that live in the yeah, and shit. Yeah, they don't know the life. Yeah. No, yeah, true. It'd be like that. It's often like that. Also, in every country, maybe. But going back to the appropriation, same situation because a lot of the appropriation could also be just be appreciation. Yeah. Like me... Uh, it's a thin line. But exactly. Th- but who makes that line? It should be the, the, it's the culture terms. itself. Yeah, it's yeah but that yeah. should be like that. But even like that, bro, you, know, you, mean, ah, you could be like, oh yeah, I'm one-eighth that culture. I don't like you doing that. But I think a lot of the, the issues are stemmed from insecurities from within. Yeah. What do you mean? Let's say uh, uh, a mixed person. Okay? As a mixed yeah. person, immediately a lot of people don't feel like they belong to either of the groups. Yeah, fact. So that. once they identify with one of the groups, if they see someone else that doesn't even belong anywhere close to that group, do something, they will immediately hate on it. Because? It's like because, the same... Uh, because how are you allowed to do it, but you're not even in the group? Ah, when yeah, I'm in the group, yeah. technically, uh, yeah. but they look down upon me. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so I they get mad. They, they voice their own frustration. That's my theory. Like light skin, light skin women talking about, oh yeah, this girl has braids. She's white. She shouldn't even have braids. This and that. Of course, I get that, but it's not that deep, bro. Just get over it. No, the thing with hairstyles, I never understood, man. It's I women. Don't th- bro. I don't think it's no, women. It's not only women. Do you think that men would even make a problem about the hairstyles and shit? <laughs> of course, there are men that make problem about hairstyles. But I think that says uh, something about them. Hair, no, hairstyles is such a silly thing, man. Oh, how can you say? How can you claim a hairstyle? I don't get it, bro. 
I think because the meaning of dreads for Jamaicans, all right? It's, a, it's like religious. Rastafari. Yeah, Rastafari. Rastafari yes. is kind of religious. That's yeah. So that one I could kind of understand, but still, it is just the hairstyle. And it doesn't even come from there. Yeah, I don't know, bro. I don't know. It's, I don't know. I it's don't like know braids and shit. Braids are also talked to me like, oh yeah, braids are this and that. Braids are uh, also the same shit, you know? Only black people are supposed to have braids, this and that. But like Vikings and shit used to have braids back then as well. Nobody gave a fuck. That's true. When you get fucking, but that's the thing. It's like a pillaged, modern, bro, modern, a a modern problem too, man. But but that's what you exactly. said. Exactly. But when yeah. you when you when you were back then getting raped and pillaged by them, you weren't looking at <laughs> oh, bro, but you yeah. have braids. No, yeah. bro, you were like, bro, don't, don't rape don't me, Don't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's that's also the thing. Like we have so much more um, time to make problems. Like you know what I mean. We should just have the. I'm praying for the nuclear winter. I just want to hop on my horse. <laughs> yeah. Red Dead Redemption 2 type beat, man. Yeah. Nah, no, nah. but follow. Minecraft, Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> like, like fucking with your fist, uh, like hitting the wood. tree. The yeah. bush. The, the wood. Bush. Wood, wood. Oh, uh, the wood. wood. Yeah. No, but that's the thing. Like, we have so much more, uh, our, uh, what's it called? Our, um, how do you say it? The priorities yeah. are so much more uh, shifted from ourselves to another because we have. For instance, social media, which like you can see everything from everyone, and yeah. you want to val- validate yourself. I feel like people want to validate themselves more uh, by having an opinion about others instead of like building yourself. Yeah, and that's sad, you know. Like, don't do that shit. Yeah, <laughs> be yourself, have fun. Yeah, this uh, you get yeah, some money. You got p- You made a. You made a good point there. It's. I it is strange to see, but it is really true. People just live for others, basically. Yeah. They don't live to live. They live to be seen, basically. Did you guys realize the the shift of looks in in men and women in the past 10 years? Uh, not really. I don't what know what you mean. You mean. Uh, like, nowadays, what I, what I saw from, like, rap videos and shit, you know, of course, body, the body types change throughout the years that's yeah. normal you, you go from skinny to fat ass to this and that right now is the booming phase of fat ass all across the world a lot of countries uh, like statistically searches for porn changed from titty, titties to ass okay. apparently majority of the world was into titties t- up until a close point yeah. Turkey wasn't because we know what's up <laughs> <laughs> uh. but basically and yeah. the whole Africa is also uh, the whole African also knows what's up Bro, you but guys, you guys be like, I got something in my <laughs> eye, bro. I got <laughs> something in my eye. That's but I basically, um, I saw like a, a Mac Miller rap video from like ten years ago, and the women in the video clip were like, everyone looked completely different. It was like everyone has a personality in the video clip. Yeah. Even though they might have been shallow, everyone looked completely different. Everyone felt like they had a different personality. But now, if you look at the rap videos. You look at the women in the rap videos, everyone wants to look the same. Because and I think, and I, I made this theory 10 years, f- actually, no, six years ago, when I was talking with a friend of mine. I call this the, the Kim K effect. And also, uh, what's, her, what's her other name called? I don't know what other name is. Uh, Kylie Jenner, also. Oh. The Kylie uh, Jenner effect, also. I, I didn't know who she was back then. I wasn't on social media. Yeah, but like, it's, it's different because uh, it sounds stupid to say this, but Kim K is like. A pillar of success, if you think about yeah, it. Yeah, and everyone's look. Everyone wants to look like her. I if you look at her, yeah, the makeup, I, yeah. bro, the way of ma- like in in the Netherlands, especially with the girls that go out and shit. Everyone that is like, like white or lighter skinned or whatever, has the same makeup style, has the same type of clothing on. That's the only thing. The only difference is the hair. Yeah, but that's that's the thing. Like uh, like I said, like you're trying to, you're trying to, li- you're literally people pleasing. In a sense, for your own validation, even worse than like, it's not like oh, I'm gonna do stuff for other people, but it's literally for random people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But at the end of the day, um, <coughs> it's it's also it's social like media. Yeah, but it's also it's, I'm not gonna say like it's sheep stuff because it's, I don't want to use that term. But it's like if uh, if now if like 51 percent of uh, of the population like something, that means more than half. Like yeah. and that's already that's the 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 bigger part. Yeah, yeah. majority. And yeah, that's what a word I was trying to search. The word I was searching for, I cannot speak. I'm so sorry. Yeah, like that, bro. It's but early in the morning. That's true. But the majority, uh, if it's 51 percent already, that means that like, in the pr- in the group of 49 percent people, they see like, oh, the majority likes this, so I need yeah. to like it more. So th- that's it's got only gonna be 
further out. Thank you for saying this. Also with content. People uh, are like more likely to like a video if it already has a lot of likes. Yeah. People are more uh, entitled to watch a video or listen to a podcast, for example, yeah. if it's already established. Yeah. So th- I was and looking that's into that. That's I was so looking into that because yeah, we have a podcast and I was trying to see uh, how I to get more views and why how we can get more listeners. So don't forget to share this podcast with your uh, <laughs> three friends. Please, if you have them. Please, please. But yeah, I was looking into them and I was talking with people and they all said, yeah, I listened to that podcast and I was like, okay, you listened to it, but how did you find it? Why did you listen to it? And they were like, yeah, I saw it online and it had a lot of likes or it was really yeah. famous. So I just started just listening to it because I thought it was really famous. And I was like, okay, but the first episode you listened, did you really enjoy it like that? That you was like, okay, I'm going to listen every week now. They were like, nah, I don't really enjoy it that much, but it it's is it's nice. It's popular, yeah. But so, but so, but so literally, the only reason they're listening to it is because it already has views or like yeah. listeners and shit. So I think maybe it's also like fear of missing out that also, you want to be yeah. part of something. Uh, we also had this conversation a couple of days ago that I never disliked a video on YouTube. Literally. No, I, I, yeah. I, yeah, same, I only same, disliked I yeah. one video. <laughs> that was like those the, No, that was, <laughs> the, that was the Justin Bieber uh, video that uh, got the most dislikes. Ah, uh, baby. Uh, yeah, I think uh, uh, maybe. But that was, was also for the meme, right? Yeah. Because everybody the, only was doing re- the only reason I disliked it was because I wanted to be a part of the yeah. uh, uh, people, of some uh, movement, or basically. Yeah. The same with the egg that had the most likes on Instagram. Yeah. Nobody liked that fucking egg picture. No. Oh, I I no, bro. Shut oh. up. <laughs> Nobody no, no. liked it enough I to like it. it bro. I liked it before it actually started popping up. Okay, you was different. Okay. Bro. No, 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 no. But because <laughs> no, but no, it we get it. it. No, bro. <laughs> calm down, bro. It literally says it in the in the in the in the comments. It said, uh, "I'm trying to make this the most liked picture." Yeah. So I I did like it because he told me to like it, but I liked it because he asked me nicely. Yeah. Okay. Not You're literally yeah. me, but he said like, "Oh, can you yeah. like this? I want this." Yeah. Okay. The reason I liked it was because it already had likes, and I saw it on the news or something. They were like, yeah, this uh, egg is on its way to be the most liked picture. Yeah, 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 and I was yeah. like, I, th- I believe it's going to be the number one. So let me just be part of it. Yeah. Okay. So that's the only reason I liked it. But I have two examples for in th- for that case. The first one is that um, I made a TikTok with a Night Armies altar mm-hmm. about that everybody wants to be the day one fan. Yeah. Like for Bring Me The Horizon, it's one of the biggest bands out there. Yeah. And... They have like people screaming like, "Yeah, I was there 15 years ago" and that kind of stuff. And I was like, "Everybody wants to be the day one fan when they're big, but when they're literally at the day one, <laughs> they're like, no, nah, fam, what the fuck is this? Like, I'm yeah. a, I only like the big it bands.' Is, uh, yeah, it is really like a movement thing. For example, if you post a video and a lot of people say, "Ah, oh, this ho- this hard, I fuck with this." People will say I fuck with this is hard, yeah. but the moment I got the first couple example. people are negative, everybody else bro. Will just trying to be part uh, of it. You know, the same, I've too. got another example, bro. Uh, when I re- I I made TikToks with a Night Armies altar yeah. and also with Akuma Jin, yeah. and Akuma Jin is like a Dutch trap metal act, yeah. and I did my best to yeah. make good content. I made quality content, like everything was clean, and then I was like, you know what? My song comes out at midnight. Let me just do like a simple video on Snapchat. I was like, oh, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, my song yeah, is I out. I remember that one, yeah. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then the, I, I just thought, I was like, it's 1 a.m. I was like, oh, my song is out. Let me just post on TikTok. Yeah. You know, we'll see what that happens, you know. I have a confession to make, bro. I did participate in the comments. I know, I know you did. <laughs> I, I know you did. I know you did. But, bro, you d- yeah. like the listener doesn't even know what the comment was. The thing was, it was 1 a.m. I yeah. just, I went to bed. Thinking like, ah, it's going to get like thousand views maybe. My yeah. TikTok was popping off a little bit. So it's, bro, I woke up and had like 65K with like hundreds of people reacting like, yo, bro, this goes, Goofy uh, this goes, this goes hard on mute. Yeah. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> like, yo, I'll release this shit. Yeah, I'll release <laughs> this. And, and it kept going, kept going. And yeah. I was grinding so hard for the first 100K video. And that Snapchat video was my first 100K. Yeah. And I was like, bro, why? And everyone was hating on it. And I was like, that happened in the weekends uh, because I released on the song on Friday and it yeah. happened in the weekends. I was like, how? I was really, literally upset a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I was like, damn, bro. Like, I know that I get hate and I don't mind it, but this was this is like, like, a, a, like a, a wave yeah, 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 of hate. Yeah. And I was yeah. like, how? How did I do this? And then I was laying in my bed and I was thinking, bro, like, how can I, how can I, I'm not going to be like an, an, 
I tried it first. It was going to be like an uh, apology video. Yeah. <laughs> not not a, uh, like a, like a video where I said like I'm just trying to change my jeans, bro. Like don't hate yeah. on me. Like, but that was that. Sorry only. for releasing the song. No, no, <laughs> but that was not gonna work. That that, is, that only got like like 500 views. Nobody saw it, and it's already yeah. offline, so you cannot see. But then I found I was like, bro, you want you want to? I was like, then the, the the flip switched in my head. I was like, you want to hate on me? Nah, bitch. I'm gonna show you something. And then I came up with the idea to uh, make the video in the uh, yeah, yeah, library. In the library, yeah. where I said like, yo, you wanna. You know, you want to hate on me? Okay, let's go, Brent. Hate me as hard as you can. 100k s- uh, plays at the end of this year. Bro, I'm I'm, re- I'm, uh, I'm releasing it. Release it, yeah. And then... End of this month, right? Sorry? It was end of this month, right? No, it was end of the it year. It was end of the... It was, uh, uh, it was, it was in October or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I released in uh, September and then for December. But everybody in the comments, the first three were like, bro, he outplayed us. Yeah. And then, like, bro, the comments, bro. People knew they could... And a- people knew they, like... That I outplayed them. Yeah. They were like, this is one of the craziest marketing strategies I've ever yeah. seen. And uh, and at the end of the day, I released videos after that also for yeah. other releases. And some of the comments came like, oh, and releases. Like it was it was also a trend on TikTok to yeah. hate an upcoming uh, artist. Yeah. But literally, other people were defending me in the comments saying, like, bro, it doesn't work on him anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. You don't you can you try, but yeah, they There's like a thing with trolls. When you see it doesn't work, bro, they don't care, bro. They, they just stop. Yeah. Bro. It was good, man. I, li- I liked it. I liked also the people. I also liked a lot of the comments. That they that were good. Like yeah, uh, they were creative. good, bro. They yeah, were no, 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 The positive comments as well, because a lot of people were like, oh, yeah, I like this. This is trap metal. This is. Th- I, I've, I've been looking for someone in the Netherlands that does this in this genre and this and that. It was fun, man. I remember for, for me, the, the funniest moment was I woke up and we spent like the whole night working on something. So I woke up. It's like 1 p.m. on my phone. I open TikTok. I see... All the comments. I see, what the fuck? I'm like, this is crazy. I send it to Mo. I'm like, Mo, you're awake. Look at this shit. This is crazy. He's like, yeah, I just saw, man. That's oh, crazy. Bro, it was and then and then you messaged in the group chat saying, yo, you guys think I'm goofy? Because all the <laughs> comments said, all the <laughs> comments said, goofy yeah, ass. Yeah, I'm, yeah, looking yeah. At this, I'm looking at this message. I swipe back to TikTok. I wrote goofy ass. <laughs> sent. <laughs> went back to the chat. I was like, Nah, bro, you know, it's not that bad. <laughs> I didn't even notice at first. Yeah, I didn't even notice at first, nah, man. The uh, thing is, because you also didn't know it was a movement. Literally. Yeah, I didn't know. It was a movement on TikTok in the, at that time to say goofy ad to everything. Yeah. But you didn't know. No. So for you, it was kind of personal. I was like, like, bro, why? why what is goofy? Why are they calling me goofy? That shit was hilarious, yeah. bro. It was, it was good for my... Oh, it was actually very good for my development because yeah. now, like... At that point, now, like, I knew I was, like, unbreakable in a sense. Yeah. But now, I, bro, I, I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I literally do not care. The first the first kind of waves of hate always get you. I had that with, uh, with, the, with our BTS video. Yeah. Oh, what, like, what, what happened? Our we still BTS? have it on. We have a video <laughs> that we reacted to BTS. The it Korean... Like uh, it was, yeah, 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 It was at 4 a.m. Yeah. I'm going to put you the setting, okay, that we went yeah. through. It's 4 or 5 a.m. Yeah. We are recording this shit. No, l- l- both say it good. No, the uh, the uh, whole night we were the whole day we were busy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're tired. Fuck it. We're gonna record BTS. At this point, we're recording like a video every few days. So let's react to BTS. We react to three songs. Yeah. One we didn't even fully finish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's start. Yeah, reacting. To I'm not three gonna songs. name the songs because I don't want to get more hate on this podcast as well. Actually, I couldn't give a fuck. But yeah, <laughs> just bro, fuck it, bro. Like, <laughs> well, basically, uh, it starts like this. We op- I, I even prepared like a whole meme that I saw on the internet. It was like this black chick that went to a BTS meet and greet where she took a picture with one of the members. Mm-hmm. But you know, like when you flash someone that's dark next to someone that's very, very bright... They uh, look good. They look. Yeah, they yeah, look yeah. Black. It's like it's like uh, the character. The character is not like yet uh, yeah, unlocked. unlocked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They look like <laughs> zero, 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 but zero. The but other, uh, the other person is is like fully white. So flashy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. so she was like, oh, me thinking the BTS meeting greet w- would look good on me, and then she showed the picture, oh, or where no. she's completely black. Oh no. So I saw that meme the day before, and I was this hilarious, bro. I'm gonna show it on the t- thing as yeah. well. Everyone's gonna laugh about this. We're gonna have a fun time together. Ha yeah. <laughs> ha, bro! The whole community is gonna love us as well. We record the video. The first thing I see is like balls jumping on the screen. So it's 4 a.m. We're tired. And I pause the video. And go, why are there balls on my screen? And I'm <laughs> laughing my ass off. Yeah. I'm laughing my ass yeah. off, bro. Yeah. And the next shot is a dude drinking milk. And then we were when we saw the milk, bro. We went. We were crying, <laughs> like ballistic. bro. Yeah, we went yeah, ballistic. Yeah. 
We had the time of our lives. We were, that video is one of my favorite videos that I recorded. Because it was genuinely having fun. It was genuinely having fun. Exactly. No, we were mentally dead, literally. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So everything was funny at that yeah, point. Yeah, everything yeah, was yeah, funny, yeah, yeah. so we were just having fun. And we upload the video. Uh, this, by the way, the bars also went like sing song, bim bam. And shit like that. Yeah, yeah. So yeah I'm be honest, bro. It's not that deep. It's the no, song it's, is not it's that like, deep. It's like it's like literally like a pop song. It's like I I ball LeBron, <laughs> shit like that. Bro. Really? <laughs> yeah. Did he have bars? <laughs> which song? Which song? Which song? Uh, I don't remember the name. Dynamite. Maybe it was. Uh oh, it's the English. It's English a big song. one. Yeah, we listen. To yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. We listen to. Bi- oh, I can't sing it because otherwise it's gonna be copyright, right? Uh, we also listen to the um the mic drop. Uh. Oh, that was l- another video. That was another video. Bro, I don't know BTS. I, love, I actually yeah. did like DNA. DNA from BTS is a good song. Okay. Uh, but basically, we listened to the uh, uh, Butter. Was Butter? Oh, yeah, it's like Smooth, smooth like, like Butter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, they're making hits, bro. You they're they're actually making hits. They're very good pop songs, yeah. but they're not that deep. No, the commu- it don't have to be We didn't deep. Yeah, Exactly. So we didn't look at them as deep songs. We reacted them. We uploaded the first day. Yeah. We're chilling. Three comments, four comments. No, 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 no. Let me say that. Let me take over now. Okay. We uploaded it. The video looks all right. We edited the meme that he sent in, everything. Okay. Yeah. First day, couple of views, couple of reactions. Nice, really nice reactions. Yeah. People mm-hmm. laughing, haha. Like 300 Tell views. Telling, uh, yeah, telling, yeah, 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 yeah. Telling us shit about the group. Uh, you, the, 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 for example, we said they only make, I didn't know they only make English songs and they, uh, because we listen to uh, English songs only. Yeah. But they also have Korean songs. Yeah, of and course. Japanese yeah, yeah. P- uh, also. Yeah. So they were like, nah, they also have these different songs and they we were nice people explaining, haha, yeah. react to this song next. Couple, uh, day three, there's one negative comment. They're like, at this point, there are like 10 positives, one negative, okay? Yeah. And the one negative was so random, it's like, you guys are racist or something, blah, blah, blah. I was like, bro, how the fuck do you come up to this conclusion? Then nothing, before I wake up, and then I see my email has uh, commented, 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 commented. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, message yeah, comments. Yeah. And the video was like on 5K suddenly. Yeah. And we had 50 new comments, and they were all fucking negative. <laughs> what are you fucking racist piece of shits. Um, uh, you're just doing this for the cloud. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'm going to add something. I'm going to add something. <laughs> the meet and greet picture? It was not BTS. It was, not it was BTS. a random Asian dude. <laughs> <laughs> it was a random Asian group, bro. It was a random Asian guy. No way. Yeah. Oh, my fuck. So oh, shit. That, so yeah, no, because yeah, we, yeah, yeah, uh, the yeah, way we yeah, realized yeah. that oh, yeah. is they were calling us racist. And we looked at the the, the analytics oh. of the video. Yeah, we and we it. saw yeah. that people quit the video at two specific points. The two points where we showed the picture. Oh, yeah. No. And then right, you literally saw a few drop. Yeah. 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 Like this. <laughs> oh, no. And we're like, no, why the sh- fuck? And then we look in the comments, and I'm like, Mo, I don't think he's an actual VTS member. He's like, nah. So we looked at the VTS members, and he did not look like <laughs> 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 But so what's the tweet? Uh, wasn't like the, the fault the tweet? Uh, or the, or no, the no. no, no. The, the, fact the that group the probably the didn't say k uh, No, it just says BTS. Oh, okay, then it's her fault. It wasn't, it was, she made the clickbait shit, and I clicked on it, of course. He got bailed. Yeah, yeah, he got bailed. Like he's, he's, he's a victim, actually. He's a victim in this situation. <laughs> I have the victim. <laughs> so, <laughs> you are the victim. So, okay, next day it goes from 5 to, t- to 10K. No. More negative comments. And after after like the first 5K, I t- there was like this wave of people saying, I knew I sh- uh, after reading, I just read the comments and I knew I shouldn't uh, listen to this. Uh, so people yeah, didn't even yeah. give it a chance no, after the 5K. No, but no. not only that, they didn't watch the video. They said, oh, I knew I should. Uh, I knew that this video wasn't going to be good. And then commented on what's going to be in the video before watching the video. What? Wait, wait. People were saying shit like, so you, let's say you're saying that, oh, these guys are racist. Yeah. They're like, uh, I don't even have to watch this video. I know you guys are saying this and that. Oh, Fuck you guys for yeah, saying this. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this, no, na- this guy oh, got no. more bitches than you. Because yeah. oh, no. I said, because I said, like, uh, wha- I hear like a female uh, vocalist. Yeah, like very high pitched. Yeah. So I'm like, is there a woman in the group? And they're like, that woman you're talking about, he's a black belt in Korean, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, bro. He can whoop your ass <laughs> and he gets more bitches than you, bro. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, no. What? Uh, I mean, some, of them, do, some of the comments were funny, man. It was hilarious, hilarious. bro. Yeah. Some of them, bro, you you click read more and then... It's like a whole paragraph. Yeah. Like oh, this. yeah, they hate, they hate you. Uh, they hate you. Like. I liked some of them on purpose. You know I'm like, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's crazy? You know what's... 
Also two examples. There was one where um, a, a video company made videos yeah. and they used hashtag BTS because it's behind, behind the, the scenes. scenes. Yeah. Yeah. And there was literally a hate flood. Like, yeah, you're using BTS for your clout and this kind of stuff because they were like, yeah. you know, that was th- that happened. Be, yeah, that happens. No, the thing is, what, what I they found gate, out later. Is that gatekeeping? No, no. What I found out later, BTS has the biggest fan base in the world. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm gonna say it, bro. Some of them are not that bright. But they, no, I think they, I think it's also like they worship it in an unhealthy way. Yeah. So th- everything what they do is is for them. Yeah. Oh, what so happens? I th- uh, I, s- I think I said it earlier. Too, it's kind of like a cult. Yeah, 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 legit. I so had a second thing about it. But I'm so not sure. So one thing that I thought was the worst was that a lot of people in the comments also were attacking people that were positive. Yeah, oh exactly. Yeah. So, so let's say uh, you one person has a positive comment about them, they're like, "Oh fuck you! You're not even a real army. You're this and that. Yeah. You're yeah, so fake yeah. for liking this video for but what they're saying." Isn't also like what vegans do? Uh, is no. That, is this something I can say? No, but no, no, it's not. I never had a fight with a vegan. It's, I mean, it's, so it's it's so weird because like at one side you got the the diehard armies, the ones that I literally have read like the whole paragraphs of of like an actual good comment. Yeah, yeah. and they're very helpful. They explain the whole situation. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I, I could see myself being like uh, a BTS-er. invested, you know, invested in the same uh, type of way that they are, but it's into something else. You know, like yeah. I like video games in the same way. I would like to talk about like paragraphs, uh, uh, yeah, shit about video games or whatnot. And I see, I read what they're saying. I, I feel like the, the passion is coming through their comments and this and that. And on the other side, you got like these fucking psycho, twisted 52-year-old women that don't know how to fucking behave on the internet just because they're behind the fucking wall. Yeah. And they start to fucking bash on these 18-year-old girls that are actually fans of it instead yeah. of obsessed by the fucking idolization yeah, of these men. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I get that. It's so, it's so weird, man. But the thing why I said it was also with vegans, because do you know uh, Jubilee? Yeah, 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 bro, they make good videos. They in my re- opinion. reacted to a lot of them. Oh, cool. Yeah. On which, on which account? I need to, I More need to find out. <laughs> I, I need to find out how they find the people. In the yeah, th- they have a just like with the with the a scout squad. Team or something. Yeah, they have like a like. There's a dedicated group for that. And I'm yeah. pretty sure people can like on sign up. Online yeah, online of course, of course. Yeah. But uh, now I mean, they always have t- specific type of people. Yeah, but that's the same. Like, it's, are it's you never like the no. There's like th- there's like a casting in America. Yeah. But the thing with the Jubilee as well is they cut the videos. Yeah, that's the one thing they do nasty. They did you know about that? What? So something in the video, there's sometimes there's like the the most awkward silence, right? Yeah. What they do literally is they have a part of that. Th- that part might be from the beginning of the video. Yeah, yeah. And they cut d- it yeah, there. Yeah, and they yeah. cut the au- audio out or whatever and make it the most awkward shit ever yeah. so that the guy is set up. Yeah. And uh, it reminds me because I was watching Ebba and Preach and I know Jubil- Jubilee because of Ebba and Preach. Who? Sorry? Ebba and Preach. A really good YouTube channel. Okay. You should check them out. Yeah. I, I used to watch them from like years. But basically, uh, at some point, Jubilee like um, made a video about Ad- uh, uh, Abba and Preach, like laughing at their whole content. Yeah. And Abba and Preach said, uh, you guys should do this as well. It will make you guys funnier. And then recently, the more I'm watching that shit, I'm like, they actually listen to them. Because yeah, they yeah. make the, 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 some of the shit is actually hilarious now. But so that's the thing. But that, there was like a, a video where this, where it was one vegan, yeah, like all vegans and then one uh, fake vegan. And there was a guy who just like the YouTube comment. He was like, "Yeah, I just you know I try to eat a Taco Bell, just trying to get beans instead of meat. Yeah, or eat like s- sour patch or so." Uh, and the, the blonde and chick, like yeah, the short hair one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And she's like, "That's not vegan. That's not." Ve-. It's like, bro, but shut up, man. Let people, let people, you know, like I get you, respect, but bro. Also, that the is not vegan. <laughs> but the, yeah, but the purpose <laughs> yeah. of the food is to find <laughs> yeah, out who is yeah, not yeah. vegan. So. Yeah, okay. I can't okay, understand. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, this is the wrong like content. That's right. Okay. Say I'm sorry now, bro. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> sorry to, to all the people. Vegan. I'm so sorry to all the vegan. No, it was in the wrong context. But there's yeah. another one. I get what you mean. Hey, there's another one about comments. I saw a video last. Yeah. Where there was a, a woman and a man. They were just got him, just got married and that kind of stuff. And the comments were like so so crazy. Uh, they were like. How can I, uh, how can I expand my business uh, with kids under uh, under my bed? And like it's it was like what? crazy, no crazy, like in the context, crazy yeah. comments. But they used keywords in their in their comments, and then there was an auto reply of the o- of like of the ah yeah, yeah, yeah. with the auto reply and the auto reply is yeah I DM'd you and they're like oh I uh, I'll help you out and then 
Uh, that's hilarious. But like they they're helping out with like like trafficking yeah. children and that kind do, of stuff. Do you know, know about that? But in the comments, uh, is that like a mistake? Because no, yeah, that shit no, no, no. Look uh, on Instagram, you can uh, put that um, you automatically reply to people if they say a certain keyword. Yeah. So uh, for and they me, found actually, out. I have like people that I follow, and they're like, "Oh, if you want more about, if you want this training schedule, write." Uh, training or whatever in the comments and I will send it to you and it's like Whoa. an automated message I was so stupid yeah. I used so to think they just went to the comments and no, send so it so to so basically uh, what happens is some of them have oh if you uh, just write info in the comments and I will send it to you well not only do they send it to them they also reply to them in the comments, comments. Yeah. so people what he says is oh I'm trying to bury uh, six kids in my backyard yeah, yeah, can yeah. you give me some info about yeah. that yeah. And they're like, oh, <laughs> sure, don't worry about it. Check your DMs. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. But, yeah. Bro, there were so, there were so like, many yeah, also. Yeah. There were literally there were like thousands. And then uh, eventually, like, she commented herself, like, don't abuse the system, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. don't. And uh, they were, bro, it went off. It bro. was hilarious. Yeah, and, uh, but one thing you never do is don't tell people not to do shit. Yeah, yeah. Because the first day they all just do that bro, shit. And, but that's, it sounds stupid, but it worked so hard because I, I literally was like, uh, scrolling through like yeah. Instagram and that kind of stuff, and they had so much more engagement. It was yeah. weird. Yeah. It was weird, but it was sick. Yeah. Like may, I may be doing that myself, you know. Bad like plus you know. Uh, bad publicity is also publicity. Yeah, I know. And there's something you have to accept at some point because our BTS videos are most watched video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in the beginning, I also talked with uh, with Indie Blair Indie. about it, and I was like, in the beginning, <laughs> and I was uh, and I was like, bro. We should take it offline, man. It's I don't want to. I don't want the hate to keep spreading to yeah. other videos and shit, you know, yeah. and be known for this. And he was like, "Bro, just let it be, man." Yeah. And now that I look back to it, I think, yeah, man. It's like the meme. Actually, the video was good, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm also, happy with the video. It sounds stupid, but also like the hate that you receive is not who you are. So yeah. if, exactly. if like and people went to the next video as well. Some of the haters went on yeah. to the next video as well, but ah, fuck those people. Bro, 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 subscribed. No, no, no. <laughs> people subscribed. People <laughs> subscribed. To hate on the next video. Uh, shout that's out to crazy, them. bro. Imagine you subscribe just to wait for his next oh, video. That's crazy. That, that's that's ultimate hater move, bro. That's I respect that. But, that's, but then you know that. you know that they have literally nothing no better to do. Yeah. Literally, bro. like this is their life. Like yeah. go to school, yeah. have a have a shitty job, and then like hate on people in the evening. Yeah. Just like the same people, I'm gonna say it out loud. The same people who play uh uh like serious serious cops in five M. That's hilarious, bro. Bro, uh, or do or do their own job in 5M. I don't GTA understand, bro. I don't understand that, bro. I, I don't get that either, man. I like. I understand you want to try and have fun, and like it's it's cops and robbers. It it is fun, you know. I play a I lot of custom I games think in Halo. More of like the role playing part. I think they enjoy ah, that. But like sometimes, bro, there were like there's like a, a a moment where I was playing uh 5M in on the server and it was fun, but they were like. Oh no! You cannot drive faster because it's uh, it's against the rules, and I'm a I'm a player admin, so I can get your kicks. I was like, bro, what do you mean you can get me kicks, bro? That, like, that part is weird, man. Uh, that part is good. You know what I mean? It's like player admin. If, yeah. you, if you go, if you go, oh, I'm a cop. This and that. Uh, cool I, 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 you, I, would, I would like just I would just like beat you. Yeah, I would smack the shit out of you. Like, why would you? No, but he's player admin. He will kick you out. <laughs> yeah, but no, but that's that's the part where it's like goofy. Yeah, like don't abuse. No, your I get power, what bro. you mean, but the whole purpose of those surfers, let's be honest, is to role play. Yeah, so but if somebody yeah, in a role yeah. place yeah, in a, in a hi- with a higher... Uh, just because just I'm driving too fast, God doesn't come down and be like, I'm going to take you away from this planet, bro. Yeah, but it's also yeah. but that's what I mean. Like, It is role playing, but they are not good at role play. They just want to have like a certain amount of power. power and they're like, oh, I'm a cop, so I can uh, I can teleport you into jail. I was like, bro, why would you do that even? I'm just trying to have fun here. You it's know? a power trip. Yeah, literally. I, I get that because like in, in real life as well, if someone would drive fast, you would have a chase, you would f- try to catch them. But in, in 5M and shit, if you have a chase in certain servers or whatever, people are like, oh, you're not allowed to have a chase. It's against the rules. It's like, what rules, bro? It's, it's supposed to be a role play. I'm playing no, my role. I'm there a no, there are ro- rules in role play. I'm going to be honest, I'm a big fan of rules in 5M. But what yeah. rules? There have to be rules. Yeah, but oh, like, rules? like rules? vehicle, but ma- like random uh, random killing people or vehicle yeah. killing. Yeah, I understand I get that. I get For that. example, when you have a weapon that the other person you're trying to uh, exploit doesn't run away or do something yeah. crazy and shit. So they have there have to be rules to have a good role playing surfer, but I also get what you mean that some people take it too serious and they do unnecessary shit. For but example, they don't understand. They, they sound stupid, but they often don't understand what role playing is in yeah. essence because they always think like they need to abide by the rules. But those rules, like, like it's it's just only the backbone. You know, like you make the server, you make yeah. the the fun. But that, that's a lot. The, that's that's a thing with 
shit surfers. Let's be honest. Yeah, the free surfers. The free surfers. Yeah, uh, most yeah. of them are horrible. Yeah, facts. That's yeah. why I stopped the, with the uh, RP man. I stopped with RP because uh, some big fucking Dutch YouTuber started to play on the surfer I used to play on, and then he he took his whole fucking twelve year old yeah. fan base with him and fucked up the whole. Surfer. But that's you know what's actually that's pretty crazy. I was like in uh when five M was really really big, but like everybody was playing it. I went to like uh, Albert Heijn to the supermarket and people were talking about the things they did if IVM just like they they were the criminals. And that was pretty funny. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. I went to like uh I went I had like I have I have a lot of friends. Uh, shout out to everybody, but some of them aren't really good people in essence. Yeah. And they talk about like, "Oh, yo, I just uh, you know, did something stupid." But yeah. they, the people who are just working their normal jobs, having a normal time of school, they're like, "Yo, bro, I, j- I killed someone, shanked someone yesterday." Yeah, it was fun. It was pretty fun to see that people can live that like yeah. that life without actually uh, living it. Yeah, yeah, because on that subject, I don't know if I can switch this up, if I'm allowed to switch the subject. Of course you can, bro. Bro, rest in peace, Big Dougal, man. I have, to, I just have to say it. Like, I don't know who it is. Uh, it's a Dutch rapper, and uh, he got shot. But he was a criminal, right? That, that yeah. I don't know that part. Yeah, and that's the problem. Like. Um, he was shot before his mother's house was shot. He got stabbed. Like it was, it's it's crazy. And it's did he get shot? Did he get shot or stabbed? He he got shot. Then uh, his mother's no, I think he got stabbed. His mother's place got shot up. Then he got shot, and then uh, he got killed. Yeah, and that's like the hard world where like it's funny that we have five uh, M and that kind of stuff, but it's it's a hard world out there. So that's why I wanted to have a moment to say oh. that everybody is. For one, special, and they deserve every good thing that happens in life. You know, like. I'm be honest, bro. I'm gonna say it. It is if you're a criminal and shit happens to you, it's part. It's yeah, your decision, man. But that's that's the hard thing about like not everybody. People who say that uh, that criminals choose their life, that's literally wrong. Some people just. But you can always lead the life. <laughs> I'm gonna be yeah, honest, but bro. he was trying. He was trying, bro. He was, was trying. trying. But he was trying. I was trying. Spreading positivity, doing more with rap. No, but like, was he? Uh, was he still? Um, he I'm was still honest, linked bro, with the business, no, right? No, wait. His music was about gang related. Yeah, shit, of right? course. So yeah, so he's how a was rapper. he trying to leave? Yeah, but he was a rapper. No, but yeah. it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know that much. But like, yeah. what I do know <coughs> is no, that, I I like of course, we don't know him personal, and it's it's fucked that a human died because he was young. I believe. Yeah, but it was twenty six. I believe yeah, killing killing a he person. He's twenty six. He's uh, killing a person is like killing a whole mankind for me. Yeah. So taking a life is something serious, and. It is fucked, let's be honest. It's really fucked, but it is also I don't know man. It's I can't really like have uh sympathy yeah, toward yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Because I oh, also they came kidnapped from the man last year. I also came from wha- yeah. No, he always got kidnapped, yeah. Uh, no, he kidnapped the man last year. Oh did he? Oh I yeah, did not so see that. I did not see that. I did not see that. So uh <laughs> for for me as per, as a person that came from a war w- world with a war Worlds for fucking the country with a war. It is seeing people die, innocent people die and shit. It is harder for me to have sympathy with people that quote unquote deserve to die because they were busy with that shit. Yeah, true. So, but that's like the the risk they have. But at the end of the day, like, uh, nobody deserves that. You know, and that's what I said. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's it's oh, it's still fucked because a human died. But yeah. I don't really have sympathy. He did get like what yeah. was coming for him because yeah. he was. Well, it's kind of like what? It's yeah. kind of what did you expe- expect? Yeah, and that's yeah. that's the weird. That's the weirdest thing because that's the conversation I've been trying to have with people, and that's what they're also saying. But uh, it's still, uh, what's it called? How do you say that? Some people don't understand that concept. That there's no happy ending. No, for that for that type of life. In essence, uh, bro, bro. Of course, we can understand it, but there's a happy. No, no, I mean, uh, look at the first and the first You can understand it. And you, you both, you yeah, two yeah. can understand. But there are many people who are like, yeah, bro, how, why did he die? Like, and it's like, of course, it's it's like the question is still remains because we don't know what happened exactly. But at the end of the day, like that life, the life that he lives, is like it comes with risks. Yeah, like, like life risks. Bro, like there's no happy ending. No, literally, there's no happy ending. No. You gotta get out of. It. Look at Kendrick. Even he, he even he raps raps about it. He's like, if if I d- if I don't make it out, you know, if if I didn't, a lot of rappers in America, they're like talking about if if they didn't rap, they would still be in that life. They would die. Yeah, but that's a s- that's the same in also like it's in a lot of countries. But 
the fact that it's weird that it happens in the Netherlands. You know, <laughs> guns aren't legal here. You know, that's a very big difference. Uh, we don't have s- we don't have Glock with switches on them. If we're if we're like exactly. a isn't it like illegal in Belgium or some shit? Mm, not sure. I'm not sure. I, th- I think you I can th- own th- weapons no, I in think Belgium. I think weapons and people getting shot is not uh, surprising here. But I think it is surprising that it happened to a famous person now. I'm not. I don't think. It's I think surprising. that's. I think that's like what people kind of are like shocked about. Yeah, but he wasn't the first. Let's be honest. Every month, yeah. basically, maybe every month. Yeah, there is true, true. Somebody that shot, got shot and killed. So we okay. don't really stand still and think about them because they're not famous. No, true. But now that a famous person died, we're like shit, man. Yeah, that shit true. also happens here. But that's the that's the weirdest thing. I don't know if I, if I can go to the subject, but the weirdest thing about that is is death itself. Like life goes on in a certain way. Like yeah, and that's a, a very unique concept. Uh, because it's like Islam. Uh, <laughs> no, but like, it's like Islam. everybody dies. Right? It's no, he's like life just goes on. It's like that it's like it's not like a unique concept. There, no, right? but I mean the like the whole religion that we have is like based it's on that. No, but we it's it's weird that that you're not that it's not possible. In a sense, for you, for life to stop for a moment, just to catch your breath. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean, like life. The literally present is never the present. Yeah, but yeah, life literally goes. Like it, it would be very nice if I just had like twenty four hours, where time just stood still, so I can like take a breather and then just keep going. Oh, like ah, okay, now I get you know it. What oh, okay. I, what I was, mean. I was gonna say like physically stop time. I got what you, I got what you mean. No, what does, uh, because yeah. I I uh, celebrated my uh, birthday this weekend. You know that. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yesterday, Monday, bro, I had to do so much. Yeah. The work in the weekend, I just like, yeah, bro, I'm not gonna do all of that. I just want to try to enjoy my birthday, and then uh, I drank too much, <laughs> way too much. But then uh, at the m- at the Monday, bro, there was so much that I needed to do. I just I woke up, I had breakfast a little bit, and then I just started working until it was like late. That's good, man. Yeah, it's good, but that's, that's what I mean. Good. Like that's why I I sometimes wished that there was a moment where you could. Have like a a pause, but that's it's like vacation like for people. We, we got a saying. What? Like where I come from, we say the Where time you, you rest is when you're dead. Yeah, that's facts. That's but that's also facts. You also say no rest for the wicked. So yeah, that's also true, man. The fuck does that mean? There's no rest for the wicked. Well, how do I become a wicked? Money don't grow in trees. No, so if you don't have rest, you're wicked, basically. Yeah. What is wicked? So I don't know. I think you're like. Uh, <laughs> how do you say? Like, it? Do you know the song? It's like a, it's a song. Uh, the only know. wicked I know is the one dude that goes, "That's wicked." No, but no, like it's wicked is like a. <laughs> no, wicked means that shit. How do I explain wicked? Yeah, it's like it's like it's like not crazy. Kind of cursed. Yeah, yeah, that kind of stuff. This is like it means kind of you're like the cursed. legend. The legend. You're wicked. Uh, you're, you're like why does, the, why does the dude keep saying that's wicked? That's yeah, like yeah, 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 but that's sick. Uh, but that's yeah, kind of slang. But that's slang. But it's not the same is wicked. It like it? It's not this. It's not this wicked like slang. Wicked. It's like oh, that's sick. I got I got the Oxford language dictionary. There you go. Wicked means evil or morally wrong. Yes. Yeah. So, so there's no rest for the wicked. Yeah, that's what I mean. So when you're evil, you don't rest. Yeah. Yeah. Or mentally, what did you say? And or also, or very or important, wrong. very yeah. important. There was a legendary band called Ask Alexandria who said, "Scars don't heal when you keep cutting." That's fact. Yeah. Tell him. Uh, yeah, man. Spread the word. Metalcore, 2010. I, I never bro. cut, bro. Why do I have scars? Yeah, good, good question. But that was like emo core, you know, like and yeah. that was amazing. I got my life into pieces. This is my last resort. Some like ancient and no reason. That's like a whole era of fucking <laughs> shit that I hate, bro. What? what? I hate kids that went like that, bro. But I love, I love this, this fucking. Scene, I like bro. the song, but I hate the kids that that, ah, you that know. used to go fucking like that. I oh. look like one of them. Yeah. I had my hair like this. That's why he hated it. Yeah, everybody said, did you know Did you have your hair like that, dude? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw the picture, <laughs> yeah. I think. Yeah. I think you showed That's the picture. Crazy. Bro, uh, I, I tried at least. My parents didn't like me being like a, yeah. a, a gothy kid or something like that. Bro. Now, now oh. I don't care. Now I'm living my best life, bro. I wear I wear custom anime merch with a fucking band shirt under it, and I do deathcore shows. Like, I I smack people for money. Like, it's crazy. That's, that's crazy. I, I, I wanted to, like, uh, to paint my hair. Yeah, me too. I wanted to have like red that goes into blue and green. Oh no, that's that's, that's kind of weird. Bro. Kinda weird <laughs> that's kind of weird. Who was just trying to be, bro? No, I just want. I just want. I just want to be myself, bro. I just want to have. I just like red, man. green, and blue. I I <laughs> want uh, white hair, man. I would like ash, ash white. I'm gonna do it. I cannot, bro. You know how hard it is to get white. I know. It's you gonna gotta. Like I'm gonna do it before I go bald. Ah, uh, yeah. Then you probably go bald because of the chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. 
So and then it will, and then it will never grow back. That's nah, true. No, nah, it, it will. It will. Like no, but How do you know? there is a there is a uh, to find out. there is a barber <laughs> or I don't know if it's a barber uh, uh, like a hair salon that's called Kinky Cuppers. It's not a problem. Kinky Barber? Yeah, Kinky Barber. But they are like the special, the specialist. Oh, I know them. I know them. Uh, for my, girl, my, my girl's going to go there. Bro, they do crazy stuff. But it's there. expensive too, right? Yeah, it's, it's d- crazy. How much is the cost before I know that she goes there? Um, You could say if you're sitting all day, it could be like a few hundred. She's not going there. Nah, bro. You're not going to pay for it. Are you going to pay for it? No, no, not anymore. Oh, um, yeah, true. No, but that's like it's it's only very one sick. thing, right? Once yeah, um, you n- only need it for once in a, like a very long time because they do it so well. I'm gonna go there. I'm gonna look like Kakashi. I hope. I have nothing else. I hope for you, man. I'm gonna, I'm oh. gonna end up look like uh, the, like one of the Messi cosplayers from 2016. Oh no, oh, no Messi? No. Yeah, he had like blonde hair, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was such a weird era. <laughs> no, Messi with blonde hair. No, the weirdest for me was when Messi suddenly had. 50 tattoos. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Don't I know where does exactly. this come from, man. Every day, fire, he, every he day he had, yeah, he has great tattoos. Every day he had a new tattoo. I was like, bro, you, you're not supposed to have tattoos, or you're messy. It's like a golden child. Yeah, but that's yeah. interesting. I had a conversation with a friend that uh, it was Messi versus Ronaldo. Yeah. The the who's the goat? Yeah, who's the goat? It's Messi. I, I always say, bro, Messi is the goat. If he you is just be he honest, he Messi is, is the best literally footballer. the best footballer that ever touched yeah, grass. I am, yeah, I, I yeah. agree. I don't watch a lot of football. I agree with that. But let's be honest, Ronaldo is the best athlete. No. 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 Ronaldo? What? LeBron James. Ronaldo? No, bro. At football, bro. What are you talking football. about? In, at football? Let's talk about Ronaldo was, for me, the most enjoyable. A Ronaldo, a Ronaldo game was, I don't know, something about Ronaldo made, made it more fun to watch. I don't know how to explain it. Just like... Just seeing Ronaldo with his passion and shit, he was good he at worked like so hard. Also. It was good. Uh, he was so good at, d- at delivering, uh, bringing passion to people. Yeah, for me that was Ronaldinho. Yeah, the Ronaldinho brought a lot of joy for me and Neymar. Yeah, seeing I didn't them even know uh, the guy. on the on the pitch and shit. I think the video that I looked at uh, the most was uh, Maradona uh, when he was warming up. Warming up, yeah, bro. That's cr- na, na, how na, how na, how do you na, do that? Na, na. Uh, the, a lot of people say Maradona is the most gifted player to, uh, maybe. to play football. Yeah, maybe. They say the things t- that he could do with the ball were so outrageous. Yeah. That it's like but is it better than Messi? Prog- we, d- we will never know, man. They played Actually. in different eras, different yeah. uh, level. And they are like, they, they achieved different stuff too. For example, Maradona was really a one man team, literally. Yeah. He okay. was literally carrying. But he was also like midfielder, right? No, he was attacker. Was he not Cam? Uh, 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 Cam is uh, attacking midfielder. Yeah. So, so you're both right. Was he playing defense? Uh, he didn't defend. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> he doesn't. <laughs> he doesn't care, bro. He only scores goals. He don't need man. defense. Didn't that's what uh, Johan Cruyff said. Like, uh, if you score more goals than your ter- opponent, you win. And that's why he never won a World Cup. Is that true? Yeah, he never won a World uh, Cup. Damn, bro. <laughs> he lost two World Cup finals, I think. Yeah, exactly. Lo- Lohan, didn't play defense. Lohan Cruyff, man. <laughs> uh, Lohan Cruyff. Yeah, one of the, I think it was the first or the second World Cup they lost to West Germany. You know how the Netherlands lost, bro? Because the Netherlands were the favorites in the tournament. Yeah. And they smoked everybody till the final. And they started celebrating before playing the final against West oh Germany. No. And they started to drink and shit. Party all day. Oh, no. And uh, the story goes when they. When it was match day, all the players were sweating alcohol. You could literally smell the alcohol they from like their hungover. bodies. Oh they were all yeah. hangover. Because they were like, yeah, bro, this team, West, West Germany, hungover. West Germany wasn't even a favorite top 10. No, true. They were like, yeah, easy. we smoked everybody, 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. So uh, nobody going to stop us. And then they lost. They took an L. That's so a, didn't that's like one guy like go crazy? I don't remember. Really. I, 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 we had like this conversation uh, recently as well. I watched the highlights and there was this one dude that like he put the team on his back from West Germany and he had like the dumbest what? goal I think ever. No, I don't remember. What, like tattoo? What? A tattoo? No, he literally like put the team on his back as in he carried the team. Oh, yeah. He had like, he had, like this very, very stupid like last minute goal or some shit. Ah, why they won. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. Yeah. I, I don't watch uh, football that much anymore. I yeah, me, me, me neither, man. I play football. I just watched the the Champions League because I, I don't even play it no more, it. man. Bro, we should we should do it again. Yeah, bro. it's a long. I want to play ago. it, man. Bro, I should have bought the football boot. I don't. I know I don't play football, but I saw like these football boots for thirty bucks from Puma. They what size? They were white. My size. How much? White. How much? How much is that? What? What? What size are you? Forty-seven. That's big. Uh, <laughs> it's like thirteen US. Man got the um, boat. 
but <laughs> it was like fully white and it had like gold accents. That's dope. And like uh, roses all over the gold. Ah, uh, that's your. That's and your, I was like, that shit was one. fire, yeah, bro. Yeah, it should look clean. Why did you get it? I, f- I felt like I didn't deserve it. Bro, what the fuck? I felt like effect? I felt like to have that kind of sauce on the field, I should actually know how to use my left foot to do something. Wait, are you are you left? No, put it. I'm right for it, but I can't use my left foot. No, for shit. no, no, bro. Do you know what's? I can't even pass with my left foot, bro. Do you know where Trivella is? I don't know what the Trivella is. It's like a, it's a kick with the outside of the foot where the balls go like you're right footed. Oh, it's like the curve. Yeah, but not inside. But ah, the, outside. the outside foot shot. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. bro. If you know shot. that, that if you know that one, that's I better know than that the one, le- bro. You don't. Yeah, <laughs> Bro, that's football, why I do, that's why I can't get uh, this. Bro, on just, my feet just get him, bro. Just get him. Like, ev- like even the worst players on the field have like the craziest boots. Man, I have like boots of uh, like the, the, thirty. The, the, I'm gonna be the meme then. The the guy that shows up fully prepared and is like the the, the shit is bro. Guy you look at your head, bro. Uh, we always used to say that when somebody pulled up at the court, at the football field, and we saw him with the with the shoes, the socks, and shin pads. Yeah, we yeah. knew he's ass. Yeah, 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 this yeah, guy, yeah, yeah. his daddy yeah. bought it for him. Bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, the same yeah. with basketball. If you see a dude and he's like fully dripped out. Like I, I got my uh, my underpants. This is my underpants. My leggings, like the uh, the basketball leggings. Yeah, the basketball leggings, like under my shorts. Compressors. Yeah, the compressors, pretty much. What, what, what do they do? Uh, they they keep your, your muscles, muscles. Uh, compressed. It, it keeps them warm, so that when you fall or whatnot, it uh, makes your muscles like tighten up in a specific ah. way. And there's like a whole science behind it. It makes you. Uh, more injury uh, safe, so you don't get injured as fast. Yeah, your muscles don't cramp up because they keep uh, like uh, warm. Blood flowing. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. Makes and the blood flow is just better because yeah. it gives. It. So I wear those and I wear my saucy shoes, but that's about it. I wear a normal T-shirt because the second I know if I if I go like a whole jersey and like an arm sleeve and shit, people will be like, "Oh, this should, this dude trash. He's doing too much." Yeah, I understand that. Unless you're playing an actual league game, bro, you should not be doing all that. Yeah, shit. facts. It'd be like that. that. That's the reason why I can't be dripped out on the field of football. And that's and why I only have, like, a simple-ass Nike uh, shorts, and I just, just play football with my shirts. Yeah. And I, I'm, I've got the craziest well, shot, bro. I just I just I'm go kidding. for the I just go for the shoes. I like flashy shoes. Yeah, but, they're, I like flashy shoes but, but they're so yeah. cool, bro. Like, I have, like, simple boots now, but I I had uh, the first-generation uh, Hyper Venoms. Yeah. Like the green one with the with the skull, and yeah, I was yeah. like, "Bro, this goes hard, bro! Like these shoes are sick." Those are really sick. Yeah. And now I'm thinking uh, of getting like a new pair of boots. In the I future. wanna get leather boots, man. A lot of people say once you have a leather boot, life changes. Yeah, I, I heard it in high school as well. Once you get like the leather boots, it it stays good for like yeah, a yeah. lifetime as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. good, but you need to really good take care good of it, man. I don't want to wash, wash it, it and clean yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I would just want to have like crazy. There was like a crazy Nike boot that was fully also fully white, but then with like neon green accents yeah. on it. I like the Mercurials as well. Yeah, they were like the the. Hard, bro. Oh, didn't Christy wear those? Yeah, yeah. This, uh, the Chris Cristiano is like the how do you say it? He was the image of the Mercurials yeah, for yeah, a long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. I the think red ones, right? Uh, no, the true years, different types. Uh, then it changed to Neymar, I believe. And then it changed back to Cristiano after Neymar left for Puma. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, and uh, Messi's Adidas, right? Yeah, Messi's yeah, yeah, yeah. Messi Adidas. Messi's Puma, own, uh, Puma own uh, line. Yeah. Really? Does he does he have his own Messi? Uh, yeah, yeah, Messi has his own yeah. T-shirts. Yeah. Uh, yeah Shout out to Messi, shoes man. And shit. Bro, when Messi was Messi in logo. when Messi was in Barcelona, bro, he made people's. He made like FC Barcelona so much money. Of yeah. course, bro. That's of course. Un- it's like a LeBron, bro. But he was yeah. he was taking so much money from them too. In his last uh, seasons, he was making five hundred fifty-five million a year. Bro, that's like. So but how does that happen? Well, his contract is, is like no, like for no. like a hundred million, right? No, 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 no. There's no. How much is it? Isn't like the the, the biggest every contract need two hundred million? No, every every couple of years, you will sign a contract. Yeah. Yeah. And always the money goes up, and he's been there since he's a kid. Yeah. Literally. So, it so it's just it w- children also get contracts. Ah. Yeah. So at and he was uh, let's be honest. And he got a big contract very early on. And he's the best player ever to yeah. exist. Yeah. So he was like, you know, everybody oh, wants me, me. Yeah, give him some. And then his last year he was money. making five hundred. I don't know. I remember if it was two hundred twenty-two or five hundred fifty. I think it was five hundred fifty-five. Yeah, but yeah. maybe two hundred fifty-two without the bonuses. Yeah, but like yeah, yeah. FC Barcelona literally almost went bankrupt because of him. Yeah, literally. Right? That's crazy. No, they they still have financial issues because of Messi, and uh, of course it's not only Messi but also with the Corona, because Corona yeah, hit them really yeah, hard. Yeah. 
Yeah, Corona really fucked them up. But that's the biggest problem. Like no one wants to see Messi. That's also one of the reasons they sold Messi to PSG. Yeah. Because they literally couldn't afford him. And he was like, bro, I want to just stop the money. I still want to play at the club. And they were like, bro, sorry, man. We need the money. You need to go. Yeah. And they sold him. And then since then, they've been never been the same. And that's then true. Not only the no, uh, PK wanted him away. Bro, PK has nothing to say. No, no, l- literally. Because they saw what, PK the nah, next year. What happened was <laughs> if they wa- still wanted to keep Messi, because really you do have to pay him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the pay would have been so much that they still couldn't afford it unless they cut a uh, pay off of a few uh, yeah, athletes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PK was yeah. like, yeah. just get him off like the team. No, no. PK refused uh, to lower his salary. That was no. It. Not only that. PK also said, and Messi then said also like, if PK like, if that not is that not gonna go away. The the young guys won't get any money. In that yeah. case, you know, just going away is the best option. Yeah. Because he didn't want to like take away the money from the broke ones as well. Yeah. Uh, Shout yeah. to the goat, man. Shout to the goat. But yeah, now he's, he is uh, special. He's enjoying life. What? He is special. He's uh, he's really <laughs> really <laughs> special. He's not that special. He's, he's on no, the acoustic not, level. Yeah. <laughs> he's not acoustic, bro. No, he's he he acoustic. He's no, literally he acoustic. No, no, he literally is like he is. In, in like in principle, like the embodiment bro. of a gu- acoustic guitar, like he. No, is he's that. not, bro. You yeah. know, you know how fucked up I would feel when everyone would call me. No, acoustic but he is. All the time? He is literally. He, he no, he's not. He literally. He literally how do you guys know? How do you guys know? He uh, literally suffers from acoustic. I saw. Uh, how do you guys know? I saw uh, documentaries about him. No, and they all said he's acoustic. Yeah. Nah, bro, that's the the only literally the only place on the planet where it says that he's acoustic <laughs> is. This uh, association, random association that has nothing to do with Messi, that goes like, ah, I think he's one of us. <laughs> That's no, the only yeah, one. Yeah, bro. Bro. Literally, literally, but I listen, looked it up. But listen, when listen, we listen. had this conversation, I looked it up, and it was the, the American Association for Asperger's. Yeah, but that's also being acoustic. No, I know, but it's a random association. It's like me saying, ah, I think you're white. And then all of a sudden no, you're like, ah, that's no, kind of no, no, no. Listen, listen, listen. If a if a group of people who are acoustic, if if a, a group if of musicians, if ten people tell you you're white, does that mean you're white now? No. If 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 ten white people, yeah, yeah, look at someone and see yeah. their pigment of skin and like, oh, he is white. I think he's also like he could be light skinned because of the a uh, tan, or he could be light skinned because like oh, spray. What about Messi's acoustic then? Bro, if have you seen interviews with him or like I how how no, he? No, I've uh, seen I've seen him uh, with the people he likes and with the people he likes, he does not behave any acoustic. But it's also an uh, acoustic. Maybe uh, you're just socially thing. awkward, bro. What about that? Yeah, is it, isn't that? Yeah, uh, but like also some type of acoustic. Listen, listen, huh? being on the spectrum. Nah, it's listen, it li- could be a sign of it. Of Maybe it's not awkward. an acoustic no, guitar. He's no, like an no. acoustic bus. Yes, but that's little being on the sp- ukulele. Listen, but that everyone's of uh, acoustic. Being on a spectrum of being acoustic. Is also being acoustic. Well, yeah. I'm not saying he's he's on the spectrum. I'm saying he's socially awkward. Yeah, but that's also on the spectrum. Bro, you can't be socially awkward because you don't like people, bro. Nah, I don't think it's like that with him, man. <laughs> with the people he likes, bro, he's actually very nah, nice. Yeah, but one way to find out, man. We need to invite yeah. him here, man. <laughs> Messi, <laughs> if you see this, Messi, get in here, man. I think you're the good. Come, on, come to this podcast. Uh, it's come, oh yeah, come on. That's how you're doing. Yeah, but I think he doesn't speak Spanish. I think he, spe- he speaks Catalonian. You can't speak that as well. Is Catalonian really close to Spanish, or do you? I have no clue. clue. I don't think it's full. Uh, it's both Latin. Okay, wait, what okay. what language can you speak? I speak uh, Dutch. Yeah. English. Yeah. Uh, Somali, of course. Yeah. And uh, Arabic, I can understand really well. Speaking is kind of harder for me because I haven't spoken in a long time. Yeah. Uh, same with German. My understanding, I understand all the sentences, but speaking is uh, really hard for yeah. me. Yeah. And uh, some fake French. Oh, très bien. No, I know to say a couple of sentences. Yeah, like, I know to say, I know how to say, do you speak Spanish, uh, French? Sorry, I don't know how to speak French. Yeah, je ne parle français. And, uh, like the, that one, yeah? Yeah, je ne parle français. Do you know how to say, I like chicken? Uh, je t'aime. Cocu? Poutine. Poulet. Poulet. Uh, poutine Close is, enough. Uh, poutine is uh, potato, right? Close enough, bro. I don't know. Poutine. I, uh, I just Are like you? the word chicken. In what French. about you, then? Poulet is a very nice word in French. What about what you? do you speak? Uh, I know a little bit of French from oh. high school. Yeah, yeah, this yeah, the high school French. I know a little bit of German from high school. It's like je te, je te le la, so like that kind of stuff, right? I I d- I know Bosnian fully. Okay. I know Turkish fully. I know English fully. I know Dutch fully. I know all the languages that resemble any of the other languages fully. What do you, what does that mean? Like Serbian is like Bosnian. I'm not gonna count as a different language, you know. 
Ah, uh, is it? Is it though? Croatian yeah. is also like Balkan. Yeah, there's a good thing to have in your resume. Is it really? Yeah, it's literally. I can I can literally like, if you if you if you like choose your language, you can choose those languages as well. Ah, okay. So that means that it's actually another actually language. then I speak Djibouti too. Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice. No, so good. and I know three yeah. sentences in uh, Swahili, and also I, you know, I lived three months. Uh, I used to know, but I don't uh, know no more. I lived three months in Ethiopia, so I count that uh, too. So I, I can speak like. I remember, uh, Mama Watat. That th- 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 that means Mama's water, which is milk. I used to go to the stop and I used to say, hey, "Mommy, I want, uh, some Mama Watat, Mommy." And uh, I don't know what what it was, but maybe the Ethiopian listener will know. They had this uh, bag with milk. The milk was always in this little bag. Yeah. And it was called Mama Watat, and it was one of the best milks I ever drank. It was a sweet. Uh, it was really light, and delicious. Okay. So shout out to the Ethiopians, man. Ethiopia was a nice country, man. Only the weather was bad. Really? Yeah. I thought it was always like very sunny. It's like it's here in the Netherlands. It's sunny with a lot of rain. Ah. But maybe I was there in the rain season. Ah, so that yeah. could be too. Because I was only there for three months. Yeah. It I could be that I've been in the t- rain season. I forgot my favorite what? sentence in Somali. Uh, y- while you think about it. I think it's one Jaglai Tabada. I like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Let's second, go. almost second time. He, no, Let's you go. aired him the first time. Remember right. on the clip or uh, on your stream or his stream? Who was streaming? One of you guys on was streaming. On his stream. And the other, uh, you guys, <laughs> one you tried to me. spot the other and you ignored each other. No, where I was like, in oh, the, in the it was a thingy. It was uh, uh, yeah, it like this. It was uh, the food stream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With yeah. the with the Maru Sensei, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I almost aired him recently as well on a show. I was like filming the show for him. And then he went like this, and I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, yeah." It took a little. It took a little longer. It took a but little I, longer. But like, I'm not seeing his hand, right? Because on the camera. Yeah. So I'm like looking at the camera. I'm looking at him. Boys, when are like we yes. going on a boys' holiday? Bro, I want to do it so bad. What? I want to do. It. Yeah. With, with you. Yeah, no, with I want to do it with you. I'm gonna max, be, max one other person. Yeah, max I'm, one other person. I'm gonna be honest. Like, be, being on holiday with me is actually really bad. Why? Uh, because then you can see my uh, true he nature. L- he doesn't like to walk. Oh yeah! <laughs> what? I no. forgot. You don't like to walk. <laughs> no, <laughs> now I, like on vacation, I don't mind, but uh, ah, okay, I don't. I don't like anything that involves water. So that's already like I don't like the Why beach. Not? I, bro, I I think that's. Why? Do, what do you hate about the water? Bro, the sand. You know everywhere. Swim? Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. Why, what, what do you mean sand gets everywhere? Sand gets everywhere on the beach, bro. Bro, do you do you put it between your cheeks or whatever? <laughs> what do you mean? Because bro, 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 literally, you got a point. It where it goes I in your hair, in your fucking food, everywhere. How does it go everywhere, and bro? It's, and it feels Wait, so. Wait. What kind of sand <laughs> do you guys have over there, bro? It's like no, you walk and then you sit down and then you s- stand up and then there's sand everywhere. Oh, that's for <laughs> me. Uh, good for you, man. <laughs> Maybe you're tall. That's why the sand doesn't reach your uh, top. Yeah, I never realized. But that. also the Maybe. also like at swimming pools, I find it so unsanitary, bro. Yeah, swimming yeah, pools yeah. are dirty, bro. That's what. That's I why I swim in the ocean. Yeah, but that's why I don't. I don't like that stuff. But I like. I like. Don't you like the ocean? Th- Sorry. The ocean. No, man. Because why not? Because I need to walk through the sand to go into the ocean, and that's like, uh, uh, bro. I just, I get like. The you no, know, you can also just like have a boat. Yeah, I don't. That uh, that's something I don't mind. Like, if you go on a boat, ah, you have. I, I was planning on buying my sand. sail ship. I have issues with sand and with literally with water. I was I was planning on buying a sailing boat. That's sick. No, but like having a fun time on the water, like I don't know, fucking uh, jet skis or that kind of stuff. That's okay, but not. Ah, I don't okay. like. I don't so like. You don't mind the water itself. You don't like the beach. Yeah, I do not. Ah, like, I do not like the beach. And also, yeah. And what country are we going? Are we going to extreme and go Africa? No, 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 no. Let's get Malaya or something. Hey, why don't hey, listen, 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 listen. Why I don't still we go to North Korea? Why don't we go to Japan? Something. I'll be honest, I want to go to Japan as well. Uh, Japan is a thing that you don't want to experience with the homies. And I'm gonna tell what? you why. I'm gonna tell you why. Explain, explain. Because it's not a story to tell. You know what's a story to tell? Being in, in Africa. That's a lo- that's a story <laughs> that's a to tell, bro. Or 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 bro, you want to go and see, bro? Or yeah, or I went to Japan like everybody else. Bro. No, what we you could mean, go like Ukraine. No, Imagine no, you went no, to no, 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 no. You know that's what crazy. <laughs> that's he's crazy. Actually, he's actually, funny. you know what's even funnier? He actually went. If one of you guys get malaria, <laughs> yeah, that's the funniest <laughs> shit yes. ever, bro. <laughs> That's, That's the best story. You have, you have. Even if I got bro, it, I would laugh. Imagine, imagine, bro. Imagine you tell the story, 
And then you ended with. Bro, I die. And then he got malaria. Yeah, bro, bro, I, I was. I was no, no, that's no, a yeah. fun. No, I would, that was a funny. Well, one of God's get like an uh, uh, upset stomach for the whole trip, and he only had diarrhea. Bro, bro, that's, bro, that's bro, a story bro. to tell. That would be me. Bro. That would be me. We get held hostage for like 24 hours by child soldiers. Yeah, that's hilarious, bro. No, but bro, that would be that would be the funniest if it's ever. No, no, I'm gonna be honest, like. The thing is, I I do not know people in Japan, but I know where to go in Japan that are not like it's not. We're not tourists there, bro. We're locals there. We're gonna go drifting. We can miss locals in Rwanda too. Yeah, but drifting is not fun as getting kidnapped by child soldiers. <laughs> yeah, how do you <laughs> know? Be honest. How do you know, bro? Uh, I, I'm pretty you sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Bro. Yeah, no, it's it's possible, but um, we can. I I don't. I'm gonna be honest. I uh my uh. I'll be honest. L- l- just uh, no, our first go? trip will be in Europe. Yeah, of course. You know where we should go? We yeah. should go to that one country where the prison is, where there are 600 people with AIDS. <laughs> South Africa? No, yeah. the, the prison where you, when you enter the prison, it's like, ah, uh, you need a husband. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the soap. Is that what? <laughs> that was hilarious. Bro, literally, bro, you, there's a prison in Africa in the, uh, the countries, and the, the country is famous for uh, having the most uh, sexual assault, rape charges. And uh, the most AIDS per capita. Yeah, that's crazy. So that's crazy. Uh, the, the AIDS and the rape just fits. So the, the prison is basically full with people that rape people and, and get have raped. AIDS yeah. and gave AIDS to each other. Yeah. So basically, you enter the prison. The first thing, is, ah, you knew you must not choose a husband. Oh, and then you get a husband. I can't. I couldn't, bro. I couldn't. I you would be a great I wife. Think, I think I wouldn't go to prison. I, I think I wouldn't <laughs> like prison. I think I wouldn't like prison. I would not like no, it no. if I had to choose. I wouldn't well. mind prison, but not in Africa. No, I mean like uh, even even Dutch prison, bro. I wouldn't like it, bro. I got things to do. Place to be. You can do shit in Dutch prison, bro. You can do everything in Dutch prison. That's yeah, also true. Yeah, bro. That's worry free. You don't even have to pay rent. That's facts. Maybe you I got a TV and everything. Maybe bro. I should just go like just like stab someone. Oh no, I always thought about why would why don't like uh, uh, homeless people just commit a crime and go to jail? Because yeah. they need to drugs. No, you need to have like yeah, yeah. no, but you need to have yeah, like yeah. trial and that kind of stuff. But they don't have a house to get the papers. That's not how it works. Though. Actually, he might be on something. Nah, yeah, that's not how it works. Bro, what, what are they going to do? They pick him up, they put him in a temporary cell. Yeah, and then and, what? And then what? They don't have like they don't have a house to get the 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 official files. Yeah. And so you don't try and tell me if you're homeless, no, you wait, cannot wait, no, go no. to jail. No, yes, yes, no. Now, now I I just thought about it. You know what they do with people that are illegal in this country? They send them back. No, they don't send you back. They let you. They just let you walk around. So that's why they're homeless. Nah, you're lying. I swear to God, bro. They don't how send you, you back. How do you know that? Because I'm a refugee and I know people that are were dec- declined uh, access to the country. Yeah. So people that went like to uh, as it says. Yeah. And you're not guaranteed to get a citizenship. Yeah. A lot of people just got the the night. Yeah. They're like, okay, bro, we didn't bring you here. Bring uh, go back to yourself, literally. So just if, a, if a police officer, if a police officer catches a uh, illegal person in the here, he will say, "Yeah, well, you're illegal. Okay, yeah, yeah go back, go to back your to your country then." And then he can do nothing. Uh, nah, he li- what is he going to buy you a ticket? No, no, it's so that's thing. crazy. He literally do nothing. That's mad. That's that's how I uh, saved the, uh, uh, the refugee. Refugee. Why not go to like Spain? Because he there was this refugee. I don't know if I told you this before. You probably have. But I was in the ci- in the in the in the city with my with two of my friends one day, and we came across this uh, refugee guy. Yeah. And he told us, "Yeah, I need help." He had uh, this paper with address on it, and the address was in Groningen. So uh, he was in Rotterdam. Yeah, he was in Rotterdam, what? which is uh, well where the first asset is that you have to be if you yeah. want to become a citizen in this country. So he was like, "Bro, what the fuck? You, you couldn't speak with him." Luckily, I understood Urdu. So yeah. I knew the language he was speaking. Yeah. Then I used Google Translate, and I communicated with him. And he was like, "Yeah, I uh, I'm a refugee. I literally came today in this country. He came illegal with a with a bus or something or train. I don't remember something like that. I think it was train from France. He came illegally, and he was like, I went to the police station and I told them I'm illegal and I need citizenship, and they gave me this paper. Okay. No direction, no money, nothing, bro. They just gave him the. Uh, Paper with the address to Groningen. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I need to go to this address. Yeah. And I was like, bro, you're not getting there. It is far. It is. Uh, it was in the winter. It was cold. Oh, uh, yeah. And we talked with him and he was like, uh, I don't know what to do. And then a friend of mine knew a shelter for uh, people like that. There was uh, uh, nearby 
we like the me- underground for 30 minutes and then we went there and we knocked on the door but it was closed the shelter so it after was a certain time or something yeah, like yeah that, right? it opened in the morning again and then we kept uh, pushing uh, knocking on the door nobody nothing happened then we waited outside with him and while we was talking with him we were like you know what it's fucked it's cold he has nothing let's go to the supermarket we get him some food and drink and then he can survive yeah and then yeah, the guy was really humble. He was like, "Thank you guys for bringing me at least here." Yeah, you know, and and we were like, "Cause we were we were like, fuck, bro, this guy doesn't even have a proper jacket. It's fucking cold." Yeah, and he was like, "No, bro, I traveled from my country, uh, Iran or Iraq, I don't remember which one, to to this country for months, staying here for one more day is no problem. Sleeping here in the cold, yeah, I don't mind. This is a big step for me." And uh, yeah. we we're like, "Okay, let's get him some food and shit. We got him some food." And, shit. and when we came back. There were other people, uh, other teens, uh, our age, uh, with another refugee, and they were also trying to get him in. And when they they were fucking annoying kids, they kept smashing the door, the, n- the door and shit. Yeah. And then the police pulled up because something was happening there. Yeah. And there was like this two meter uh, thirty uh, poli- white police agent with the with this female agent next to him. And they were like, "What are you guys here doing here?" And we explained the situation, and the officer said. Yeah, he should go to his country then. And I was like, it was the first time that I did like experience something like that. Yeah. Like experience like somebody saying it. Yeah. So we're like, yeah, this guy he traveled from uh, the other part of the world, and he's uh, he got he got sent here, and we were trying to get him in so he can do his shit. And it was like, go back to your own country, man. Yeah, but, but then she said, yeah, like bro. No, it's like, like, it was like, yeah, bro. No. I didn't bring him here. Literally, it's what he said. I didn't yeah. bring him here. So what do you expect me to do? Yeah, like go back to your country then. If you're not satisfied with this, because the girl was like, they, they should open it uh, up at night so people could uh, could get in. Yeah, I was like, no, you go back to your country if you're not happy. And I was like, bro, what's going on? And the female officer was like, pretending she didn't hear shit. So yeah, but that's always it's always like the 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 major who has that opinion, the the one with the more with more power has that yeah, opinion, yeah. and then like the subordinate is like, oh no, I did not hear anything. Yeah, like so uh, we left know. him there, man. We gave him the address, we gave him some money to get trained. Uh, How much did you give him? I think it was like 50 we gave him in total. Damn, okay. And he, never, he never sent him a message. And I, ga- I gave him my phone number, but he never called me, so fuck him. But I hope he got his citizenship or something. Bro, you know what's weird? Like, he could be dead. Yeah, he could literally be dead. Literally, that, that's the weirdest part. Like, That's life, bro. Yeah, nothing is guaranteed, man. It's time to go, man. it's time to go. But yeah, I'm nothing going back guaranteed. to the story. So, if after you go to the first uh, asset say, which yeah. is like, uh, how do you say that in Refugee English? camp. Refugee camp, do you have to go? They can literally deny you, or for what? For uh, they don't have enough space, or your story doesn't add up, or something. Uh, like yeah, that. yeah. They yeah. always do a background check. Yeah. For example, if you are a refugee from a country that's safe, they will say no. We will not accept you as citizen. Because how are you a refugee then? No, th- there are a lot of people that come here for a better life. But that's like immigrant, not a refugee. Refugee is like someone that literally escapes war, right? No, I think a refugee is somebody that like refugees from his country. But a refugee is, is just look at look up the definition. No, because they're seeking refuge. Literally. Yeah, yeah, that's what I. So I think that's what the meaning of refugee is. But there, there are a lot of people that are from countries that don't, for example, have war no more. Yeah. But they are economically fucked. Yeah, from yeah, like years yeah. of war or something. Yeah. And they're here for better. They come here for a better life, but the country needs to decide if they are going to accept them because they also try and accept people that are literally from. Uh, w- countries with war, they yeah. really need it. Ah. So a refugee is someone that has been forced to leave their country in order to escape war, persecution, yeah, or natural forced. disaster. So it is yeah. someone that yeah. escaped from war. Yeah, okay, so forced. So there are like political refugees too that are not happy with the situation in their countries for maybe like religious religious reasons or political uh, politic reasons, uh, politi- politic reasons. So uh, the country needs to decide who they accept. Yeah. So. Uh, there I, I literally knew a couple of women that came from Somalia and they got denied. They were like, yeah, we don't have enough space, sorry. But then we what? We will not give you a different... She, uh, she, the religious is sorry, that, that's it, goodbye. How you, do you get food? How do you, where do you sleep? How do you get a house because you're not a citizen? Yeah. They don't care. They literally, yeah, bro, we didn't bring <coughs> you here, goodbye. That's and yeah. there are a lot of shelters here uh, in this country that accept people like that. And they give them like 30, do- 30 or 20 euros allowance a week. And then you need to help in the in the yeah. place. There's like one that I uh, that uh, that my mom uh, works at uh, voluntarily. And 
it ha- they have like maybe 30 people that are got the night literally yeah it's crazy and uh, they literally have nothing to uh, better to do and they can't even get a job because they're not a citizen no of course so uh, but they also don't have an address so they don't they cannot yeah, get no, mail yeah. so that 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 organization gives them address so the organization has like a big uh, house oh uh, yeah they f- put all the people in that house then they give them the address so they at least can t- try do some shit for themselves and uh, it is kind of fucked but that's how this life man what can we say about it yeah nothing you can do about it man yeah just, go, just move on continue living yeah, but it is hard live your best honest. life man that's what I always say to my people no, you cannot you I cannot I live your best life if you don't have a house let's be honest I don't know we're still alive man it sounds stupid but you are alive there's nothing a human is not possible like it's not capable of in my opinion Mm. Like of course there no are. No, no, like I agree with you, but I'll be honest. If the system is against you and you live in a yes, country that the yes, system matters, yeah, bro, yeah, you're fucked. Yeah, but that's that's like I have I've never I've never been there, and that's why I'm talking so easy about it. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the day, I believe that if that's not the place for you, there there's always a place for you. You know what I mean? Oh, on Earth, but maybe yeah, maybe not here, or maybe not even maybe not even on Earth. You know, it could be weird to say it in that way, but. I fully believe that everybody has a purpose for something to, and uh, finding the best way version of yourself is one of those. Yeah. And if it's here on Earth or afterwards or somewhere Mars. fucking Mars, yeah, I don't know. Man, like, It'd be like that, man. It's also the theory where like there are many people who are uneducated because they don't have the f- the, the the funds or the 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 supplies for that. But there could be one of them who could change the world literally. Yeah. Who could inv- who could invent time yeah. travel? So no, you like know what I mean. Yeah, but yeah. it's also like the cases of like, oh, how many athletes are there that we haven't found out? Yeah, yeah, this yeah, reason because yeah, of that yeah, 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 yeah. Facts. At the end of the day, bro. At the end of the day, the world keeps spinning. It is the end of the day. Yeah, man. Who we'll said that again? Somebody said it. I think it was you, even. No, bro. It's something that you would say. No, no, no. It was it was Nike. If you can shoot, you can shoot. No, the sentence literally at the end of the day it is the end of the day. Somebody said that. I don't know where I heard. I that. think it's him. I think it was no, you. No, no, I, I would have remembered that, man. The only thing I remember is, is like I said, the Nike, bro. You s- you saw no, that. I thought, I thought you were gonna go to the cocktail one. No, no, no. That was a pickup line. Talking about pickup lines. Does uh, it ever work? What? Does that one ever work? Uh, it's so weird. What's the success rate? Uh, it's a small percentage. <laughs> it's a very small. I've, I've heard you say it like unironically like four or five times no I haven't I have always said I always said it ironically like this is my worst pickup line even on Omegle yeah 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 this is my worst pickup line I, I've heard you say it to a girl unironically oh really yeah oh man I got <laughs> no but Omegle is gone it doesn't matter yeah. Omegle is gone got, we got, I miss the Omegle times we had man yeah. bro that was good man I remember we had fun we had do you remember fun. that one girl that acted like she didn't know you when she started talking with me what the one girl that she acted like she didn't know you once she started talking with me the one, the one you were like, oh yeah, it's such a great time, this and that. Yeah, you were like well, the best person I talked to tonight. And then like I tried to find her. When I found her, I was like, oh, have you met anyone? Uh, have you met anyone interesting tonight? And she was like, nah, you're the first one. Ah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. That was uh, yeah, but I'm not tall, you know. And, and then I ghosted the bitch. I'm I was not like, tall. Nah, What's you're not doing my boy like that. Yeah. But that's like I. The thing I like about Amigo is that like it's a very good mirror. Actually, yeah, yeah. it's. Mirror. People are real. People are real there. Oh. So if you're if you're ugly, then like you know you're you're gonna be f- flamed. And there was a moment. This is sick. There was a moment that I was like, "Yo, uh, like yo, roast me." I started to make a, a TikTok video. I was like, "Yo, bro, roast me." And it's like, he didn't stop. No, he he <laughs> did. He he said like, like three people said like, "No, nah, I can't." It's like, "Why, bro? Like, you're pretty handsome." It's like, "Oh my god, thank you so much." But that was the roast. No, and they, oh. they couldn't roast me because was I was just like a genuine guy just yeah. trying to have fun, you know, trying to make a YouTube video, but it didn't work out. But like now, that, now I know, man. Now I know I'm not ugly. So for every girl out there, one meter, 67 centimeters, short king, man. 60, 69. 67. 69. Yeah, man. Yeah. Round it <laughs> off with shoes, 69. Maybe. 69 is pretty much 70, so you could say 75. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 70 is closer to 80 than to yeah. 50, so, so actually 180. <laughs> I'm, one, I'm actually 180. I'm actually 180. No, man, I had like... Uh, and when I had 180, you could just say 185. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, no, that's extreme. That's a big jump. <laughs> yeah, that's too much. That's too much. That's too much. Uh, 180, 180 uh, I am 180. No, like, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's interesting to be with you. 
I even both of you, but like especially with you, but you got the beard and the length going on, and I was like, bro, I was I short guy. Funniest meme ever, bro. It was, you know, have you guys seen the meme formats of like the uh, people based on their height? It's like five four to five six, and it's like a meme of like uh, like gnomes working. Yeah, yeah. The, and then like it's like uh, five eleven to to uh, to six foot. It's like I'm six foot, and then yeah. like six foot and plus is like nights and shit. I saw one where um, it was like the same. But he put five seven at like the top as well, so someone was like, "Blood tried to sneak himself in there." I was like, I didn't even see it, but at first I just saw him six foot six one six two five seven six four. <laughs> I was like, "Bro, what the fuck? What are you trying to do, bro?" Yeah, what are you trying to sneak into there, bro? But that's like, I really thought that I wanted to be taller, but now I'm like happy that I wh- that I am who I am. Yeah. But we literally have pillows for our backs because our backs hurt. Yeah. There's, there's, here's mine, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm cool. I've got nothing. I'm literally cool. I'm yeah. just hanging out. Bro, my back been hurting so much recently. I thought I had a hernia. But what happened, bro? Is your back up blown up? Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. I'm kidding. I don't know, bro. He <laughs> didn't. He, <laughs> did he didn't deny. I he I didn't say <laughs> no. He didn't say no. Wait, hold up. I wish I knew the reason. Damn. Now, but like being nah. tall is like um, your center of gravity is also higher, right? Yeah, you can skate with, uh, like, uh, skating is harder, snowboarding is harder. Ah, that's why I can't skate. That's, that's not why. Yeah, you, there is. You just can't move your knee. No, I can't move one knee. And that's why you can't skate. Yeah. Which oh. one? Left, right? The left one. Let's fuck that. Oh, yeah. You At least left footed. I'm left footed. Ah, really? Yeah, yeah I can't. Oh, I can't that. bend my left uh, knee. You cannot bend it like Beckham. No, I, can, no, I can't literally bend it. <laughs> it goes like this. It can't go like this. It oh. just, uh, it well, when here. I'm standing like this... No person can do this. I can't do this. Mine goes like this. Well, how did it happen? Uh, s- uh, what comes back to it is I got back problem. Yeah. Uh, my back problem uh, translates to my uh, uh, thigh, Spine. to my thigh, and my thigh muscles are like so, uh, uh, so uh, tense. Yeah. It doesn't ah. allow my knee to bend when I'm standing. But if I lay flat on the floor, I can bend it. Okay. Because my back then is not uh, hollow no more. How do you say it? Uh, how do you say that in English? Hollow back? Oh, yeah. yeah Skull yeah. back or something. I don't yeah. know what it's called. I have no clue, bro. So. Wow. If I fix my back, if I train my back more, my lower back and my ass too, then I, I can bend it again. So, you I need do to do that? more uh, squats in the gym. You're going to do that? or? Yeah, I'm training now. Oh, I'm training. I'm training. So, it's, it's going to be a long process because I. Yeah, it's, of course. It's been fucked for years. Yeah, so of course. It's going to be a long process. So with the, it had to do with my posture too because I ha- have a really bad uh, back uh, posture. Yeah. So I need to fix my spine literally and get the position right, then I can do it again. So that's interesting. Yeah, no, it's part of life. What that's can I say true. about it? Do you do you still uh, do sports? I do. You've been losing weight, haven't you? I actually haven't. I see it in your face. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, you <coughs> good, man. I'm back on my diet. Again. I actually was doing it uh, last no, year. No, uh, probably Ramadan is coming, so. Yeah, 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 you're yeah. gonna. Yeah, about that. Do you have guys? I usually gain weight during Ramadan. Man. Do you guys have any plans? You know why? Maybe because the moment you eat, you're not used to eating anymore. So your your mm. body takes more uh, no. nutrients. No, you no. eat more unhealthy. Because uh, yeah, that too. You, you eat way more calorically, and I eat more than what I'm not during the Ramadan. Because you focus because outside on of Ramadan, I'm not going to eat. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 I yeah. eat the way I eat is. I pretty much almost like intermittent fast usually. Yeah. Uh, I I eat like fucking breakfast at four p.m. and shit. So w- during the Ramadan, because my balance is like so fucked, I go to bed, uh, like with a full stomach. So I wake up, and then like five six hours afterwards, you eat I gotta a full eat again. again. Yeah, full, full yeah, meal yeah, again. yeah, yeah. And yeah. then it's like, uh, usually I wake up and then I I'm awake for like eight nine hours and then I eat a full meal. So now it's like. My whole rhythm just gets fucked, but that's yeah. why I'm like trying to fix it differently. And uh, you also eat more because subconsciously you're thinking about shit. I'm not going to eat the whole day next, yeah. so yeah, I you need, need to, to eat stock now. up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So you like you, you force yourself yeah. to eat basically. Yeah. Because if I'm hungry, usually like even though I do like the, the barely eat during the day, I might just get a, get a little snack. Yeah. yeah. Like just like a bite of something. Yeah. But that bite of something is so crucial to me mentally that like if I don't have that bite, I'm like shit, I can't yeah. even have that bite no more. But I gotta stock up extra and God. then I just like eat I don't eat. know a lot about Ramadan, so yeah. l- please like uh, uh like how how does a the time s- cycle work? Because I remember it's, fr- it's before sunset. Uh, uh, yeah, I know after sunset, yeah, before yeah, sunrise. Yeah. I know, but like uh there was a time I don't know, five, seven of 
eight years ago where it was like in the he- mid of the summer. Yeah. Oh, because the Islamic year is shorter. You used the Islamic calendar. Yeah. yeah. Ramadan is a month in the Islamic calendar. It's like yeah. December, let's say. Yeah. Okay? It's a month. Yeah. So it's, it's like uh, one month of the year. Like this, let, Let's say December is the fasting month of the year for, yeah. uh, for Christians or whatnot. Uh, the month of December is where you go fasting. And every year, because the, m- the calendar is shorter, instead of 365 days, let's say there's 350 something Why days. Why is it? Because the Islamic calendar uses the moon. Yeah, so you go it's 28 days. calendar, basically. 28 day cycles. Ah, so a month like a is 28 days. Yeah. Every month. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, kind of. So, uh, so yeah. what, does that, what does that mean? It's shorter. It's, it's, it's shorter compared to, uh, to, uh, to the Western uh, yeah. calendar. That's so why in like 2,000 so years, every like year? you're going to be ahead on time. So every year, ah. Ramadan comes earlier because... Well, uh, our calendar doesn't fit in the normal calendar. No, true. So, it every year it comes earlier. So seven years ago it was in July or August, yeah. something like that. Yeah. So every year it goes up like fifteen days or something. Uh, like ten, days, ten, ten days. Ten days. Ten days. It goes uh, up. So now after now we're in March. It will be in March, and, lo- and yeah, March here is winter time. So we will be eating at around the first week. We will be eating around seven p.m. Yeah, which was seven years ago. It was ten. Yeah, 10, yeah, yeah. That was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Like in the middle of the heat, like a, a friend of mine was playing a uh, football yeah. a match, bro. He couldn't drink. Yeah, yeah. He just had to like put water. And on I'll be his, honest, on I always say this: spit, spit it, it out. sounds harder than it is. Oh, the bro, water is the only thing that you miss out. To yeah. be honest, no. If it's hot, if it's if not it's hot, hot, you yeah, won't. Like yeah, it yeah, yeah, yeah. like summer in the heat of the summer. Playing football, the water like is the only thing you miss. Yeah, you don't but even care no, about the football. Not like, you not like, like playing like a, a like he was playing like uh, not division, but like the b- before the division, yeah. but like Hofklasse, like the top class. Yeah. It was a hard game, you know, like, yeah. and then you, you can't sip water, but like <laughs> that, that, that gets you fucked up. Yeah, I remember so. that shit, man. But it also like makes you different. It makes you a different animal. Yeah, of course. This uh, now I always say this. It is. It's hard to explain if you haven't experienced it. Yeah, that makes sense. It's like this. You're like in this mental position that your own thoughts uh, are not there no more. Yeah. yeah. Basically, normally, if you're trying to discipline yourself or uh, trying to achieve something, you're always like fighting w- with yourself. Yeah. Like, ah, should I do this? Should I go to work today? Should I uh, call in sick? Should I go to school? Actually, I only have one lesson and shit. But now, because you are solely doing it for religious reasons, you have no excuses, basically. You don't even think about excuses. Yeah. Yeah. It is such a pure month. Yeah, such a pure thing that I know I don't, uh, I won't be eating, but I still do what I have to do because I'm like, it's part of it. It's, you don't yeah. really like think about it. It's uh, hard to explain. Even uh, I feel like it's um, for me. It's different. For me, it's a little bit different because I don't do it for religious reasons necessarily. Uh, I mean, of course, I do it because of the religious reasons at the end of the day, but I do it more because. Uh, because of the love I have for it, I guess more than oh, it's just a rule that I have to obey. Mm. But when I'm like doing it, it uh, like let's say I'm playing basketball or whatnot, it it puts you in kind of a because um, it's not like ah oh, I want to drink but I can't it's rules this and that I gotta be my best. No, because it's like you you go into the month with a mindset that you're gonna do it, so you scrap all the excuses away that you could have during the match. Yeah. So when you're playing something, it kind of enters you into a runner's trance the second your thirst goes away because the, the this happens for me every single time the first 10 minutes when you're playing you're really thirsty yeah like you are you're like shit bro i just want to like I, i'm so super fucking thirsty but i want to just drink a glass of water and continue i'm going to play better yeah. but at the same time when those t- 10 minutes end and um or just something happens Let's say like someone scores on you, you 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 like realize the scoreboard you kind of enter this runner's trance where you're not thirsty, but you feel like so energetic to a whole different level. Like you feel like you're the best fucking athlete on the whole court. Yeah. So you just play on a, uh, like on a whole different fucking level of, of greatness in a way. And it's, uh, it's like I you I read something you about almost it. like ascend. No, it literally, literally. Literally. It has something to do with your cells. I, d- I don't I don't remember it uh, really correct, but because you're not eating and shit. Something happens with your body, because you're like not uh, not consuming it's something with your cells, yeah, and you perform a little bit better. Interesting. So, uh, uh, maybe it's the survival instinct. So w- uh, exactly, that could yeah. be possible yeah. as well. But when does uh, Ramadan start? Uh, the tenth of Next March. 
Ooh. Is it tenth? Yeah, it's tenth of March. Oh, I thought it was like eight or some shit. Uh, may yeah, for uh, different for the Turkish people. Nah, but you guys, no, uh, I, I was like a rough estimate. I didn't look at when it was starting. We do have a different uh, day. <laughs> no, it's, it does. It's not usually two days, right? It's only one it's day. It's one day, miss. What's that? What's different? Uh, because the Turkish people use science, and uh, the people that don't do use science look at the moon. Ah, the okay. Somalis use the moon. That that means. So yeah. what's your star sign? No, I don't know. No. He's a look at the moon. He's a lion. Uh, yeah, yeah. No, okay, yeah, but uh, it doesn't have to do anything with star signs. I no, it's, it's like because uh, oh yeah. it's a moon cycle, right? It's based uh, on the moon. So oh, okay. once the full moon ah, comes, the new moon, ah, okay, yes, you yeah. know, the sign. month start started. But it's always twenty days. Yeah. Really? The moon cycle. Not really. Oh yeah. I don't know. Uh, I, I think so it is. I'm don't, 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 I'm paraphrasing on that one. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. For the the oh, what do we, what do we call them? The Haram police. The haram police, yeah. Before the haram police can start coming. No, the this. haram police wouldn't come for this. This is not that deep. No, like we're just all like educating each other, and like just we're all just like humans okay. who know, aren't perfect, you know. So yeah, Ramadan is coming. I'm uh, I'm planning on getting uh, more lean in the Ramadan. I'm trying mm. to get rid of my belly because I'm not supposed to have a belly because I'm skinny. I don't know why the fuck I have a belly. I want to get uh, lean too. So I want to get rid of my belly. When is sugar fest? Uh, sugar fest. That is the end of Ramadan. That's end like the the, eight, the 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 April, eight. April eighth. Is it uh, April? Yeah, something eight, like right? that. Yeah, yeah something like that. Yeah, yeah. literally. Or no, no, it's the ninth. Eight. Uh, the the night of the eighth is like the the final holy. What do you want to do on uh, food, bro? I want food. Uh, I'm shit. There was I'm also really hungry right now. I don't know if there you was guys this place. I want there was this place I would I wanted to try out, but I forgot about it now. But no, maybe I will remember it on the tenth, the day after the first day of eat, because yeah. the eat it lasts like a couple of days. We should go, uh, Shabu. No, no we should no. go like we should go to a crazy place, like somewhere else. That's like two hours driving there. Okay. Uh, a crazy place. I'm talking about like you go there and you get like the giant fucking. We should go like to the to the Somali place in in UK. Ah, uh, you could go to the UK literally. We could go. You could go see the Chelsea Arena. You could. Uh, no, nah, what the fuck would I want to see Stamford Bridge? Oh, uh, because of the thing. Iftar. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. What? What? Iftar, Last iftar year they had iftar. Is like basically the f- uh, the, the name breaking for of the fast. breaking of the fast. Yeah, in the evening, day. right? Yeah, in the evening when you eat, that's called iftar. Yeah. And last year they had like in this uh, Ch- uh, Chelsea football stadium, they had this event that you they would get food, so you could literally join for free and then oh, you could so eat nice. with people. And that's shit. so nice. That's a good thing to do for the community, man. The best thing, the best place to be in the world, in my opinion, during uh, Ramadan, is for me Turkey, man. No. Turkey goes crazy, bro. Yeah, I, I, I you see, like, I it's like it's like a whole show. It's like there's like fucking cannonballs are being no, shot. No, bro, cannonballs is in every Islamic country. I know, country. I know. Don't like claim said, that, bro. You see, but I don't understand why the, why the cannonballs. Do you guys have the cannonballs? Yeah, we have it too. Do you see the explosion? Yeah, it's a poof. It's a yeah, oh. I don't know see, why. Uh, Cause like the, uh, isn't the, the, they used to do it back in the day, I think. No, but why cannon? I don't get it. Because what, 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 where they, they going to the fireworks. AKs, bro? <laughs> they didn't have fireworks. <laughs> so so bro, these guys started feeding with a guy who did the AK with one hand and he just like lost control, like shot people almost. Oh, yeah, and then one. they just went uh, like nothing happened. Yeah. You I, mean s- that one? I saw one where like in Turkey, this dude was like shooting the g- gun in the air uh, because his dad came out of jail and then the, the gun jammed and then he shot his dad in the head. Oh, what? what? My mom got shot like that. It really? was like the the were this uh, she was going to school when she was uh, a teen with her friends. She was walking in the street and uh, they were like this. She says the neighbors had have like uh, had like guards back then. So you had like the neighbor guard, yeah, yeah. and he would make sure that nobody breaks in in other people's houses. Ah, and yeah. Somebody the people don't act up crazy in the streets. And uh, the guards were just hanging around and having a gun is normal in Somalia. So they had an AK and uh, they were t- talking to one of their. Uh, younger guys and they were like you never shot a gun bro i was like no i never shot so here do this shot in there and the guy was like uh shooting it and because it's so such a powerful uh, assault rifle he lost control but he had kept the trigger finger on yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. because he uh, kept recoiling and then uh, a bullet went in my mom's head literally what? But uh, but it, it luckily didn't go deep enough to hit her brain or something. It's like crazy. Then like yeah, like went, like all she says way. is she remembers everything and suddenly went black. She opened her eyes. She saw her friends lo- over her, and then she closed uh, her eyes again. She opened and she was in the hospital. Oh, she knocked wow. out. Yeah, and she has like a big scar now on yeah. her head. 
That's crazy. Oh, no. Did you get like uh, money for it? No, <laughs> uh, we don't do that. <laughs> What's gonna do that? Uh, you're gonna get, bro. In America, have you guys ever shot sued. money? Uh, shot the gun? Yeah, yeah, I shot the gun. Yeah, that was sick. What, what gun did you shoot? I'm not gonna talk about that. Bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about that. Are you good, are, are, do you have a good shot? Uh, I don't know. Did you shoot at the target or did you? No, I did not shoot at the target. Really? Yeah, man. Uh, what did you shoot at? I would like to shoot at like a, a big caliber gun. My mom used I've to go did. to a gun range after high school. That's so cool. School. I would love to go to a gun range once. We could do that, maybe. We could uh, in Bosnia. We can like get Actually, a tank. Actually, should we go to a gun range? We should. We should go on the, on the, on it. We're going to a gun, a gun range. Gun range. You have a gun range here. But the gun ranges are like you have to have like, license and shit. No, 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 no. You, you just go to, to Bosnia. I thought that's so. Netherlands, but I don't think Netherlands is no. very, very expensive. Yeah, it's very expensive. Very. Expensive. But let's go Bosnia, boys. We can you drive just a tank. go there and shoot. No, no, no it's very expensive. No, it's very, it's expensive, very expensive, bro. Boys, I'm telling you guys, let's go Bosnia for like a trip. We can drive a tank. <laughs> what? Yeah, you yeah. can literally. It's people good. have people are like tanks in the backyards. I think that's pretty sick, man. Bro, the war was twenty years ago. What do you expect them to just throw yeah. away a tank? Nah, that's true. Like on GTA, man, like a cheat code and then like a rhino. You, have a tank, bro. Bro. you can yeah, have a tank, bro. Uh, if you're unlucky, you can step on a mine. Well, that's fucked. That's really fucked. El Bozo. Uh, if you're unlucky. Uh, but what country are we going to go? And when are we going to go? I'm saying, bro, let's go to a country. Let's see later this year. It's fun. It's fun to drive. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good one. I'm you saying, have your no, I'm no. saying, let's go in May, early May. What? That's early, bro. Yeah, May, May is really early, bro. Why was it early, bro? Because I was talking about the second half of the year. Yeah, I think. Uh, I, I think like. I'm back from Turkey. Uh, um, I also. It sounds stupid. I don't want to be. I don't want to be like seven days. That's too much. Wh- what me. countries do? How many? What's the uh, ideal days, days for you? I think. Um, with travel time or Can without travel five? time? With travel time, five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm good with that. Yeah, that's good. Like, like we have three and a half days of fun. Yeah. That's so enough w- what to feel like an n- yeah. exciting place. So yeah. warm or warm or cold? Warm. Uh, warm. I, d- I don't mind. I, don't I mind do either. mind. Uh, the thing is, if you go second half of the year, if you're going to go to a warm country, it's going to take yeah. more than three and a half days. Wait, why? Because Everybody's uh, telling me go there. Driving there is going to be like 18 hours, 20 hours. Oh, yeah. That's true. So we, we, we can't like fully... Why don't we go to like uh, France? I'm not going to France. France is not a trip, man. It's too close. I don't like France. What's what's beyond France? Uh, France? Spain. Spain. Portugal. Portugal. Have bro, you guys ever been to Lisbon? Listen, 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 bro, bro. You guys want to go to Portugal? No, listen, 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 bro. My my fucking my I brother. I have a homie that has a tomato farm in my Portugal. My brother, my brother is literally like uh, going to Portugal, uh, to France. Uh, fuck, fuck, to Spain. Spain. Yeah. He is uh, he is immigrating to Spain. We can go there. We could go Spain. Yeah, where in Spain, Spain though? Where where is he uh, going? South or uh, Alicante. I don't no know no. where that is. Yeah, okay. it's, it's good. It's uh, it's nice. It's the close to Malaga. We need to go Malaga. Yeah, yeah. But we can, <laughs> we can go, go back to Malaga. Malaga. We can, Ma- we can, we can Malaga stay. is the most beautiful city. I ever we can literally to. stay at my brother's and There's then just like uh, have fun. Yeah. Uh, we could do that. I'm down. But yeah. I want to have a road trip through Spain. Yeah, let's go. I'm saying we could do that. We could like uh, let's go Spain. We could, we could do like a Twitch, Twitch vlog, man. Also. No, no, the normal vlog. Are we going TwitchCon this year? Is it Rotterdam? I low key, I low key want to. At the same time, not because you're not, not there this year. Ah, oh, fuck it, man. I don't know going then. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, ac- I, I, I actually think I should go because I think people would recognize us. We also have a lot of friends still who are going. Uh, it will be in, the in Rotterdam next three years. So. Oh, really? We're not yeah. really going to miss much, to be honest. <laughs> it's here anyways. But should I look you want to go, but at the same time, because uh, we're uh, to be honest, bro, we're not busy with Twitch no more. Should we? Should so we? Wait, okay. This is an interesting question. Should I make a Twitch comeback? I was thinking of a challenge. I'm gonna be honest, boys. From the start of if Ramadan, we, if we're going to make a Twitch comeback, I say it has to be a collective. Um, that's serious. one channel or like one channel, and make it as active as possible. Uh, no, that but like that when you want to okay, stream, you can. Stream. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be. That's true. But I'm gonna be honest. But like the brand Akuma Type Beat has some worth on Twitch. It has some yeah, words on Twitch. Yeah. I also have some words on Twitch. Yeah, Blair yeah, has, some, no, I'm has some words on no, Twitch. I'm be honest with you guys, bro. It's not going to work out. Me being said, there's no Akuma Jin no more. There's no Blair You no, have to accept it. No, bro. no, that's not true. That's, that's not, not true. true I, think, uh, challenge? I think. I People? think. Challenge. No, no, no. Challenge? Wait, wait, let me think about this. Let me you think guys about are this. coming back, and then I'm going to show you. Let me think about it. Let me think How about it. How great I am. Great <laughs> I am. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, no, the thing is. We should make a. We should just. We could also just like go with the fake beef route. No, wait. Yeah. What are you guys going to do? Fuck you, man. No, if, if you're coming back, what no, are you going to no, do? No, fuck you, no, man. No, 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 let's, 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 I'll, I'll if you're going to come back with you, Akuma, what are you going to do? I would I would go back to freestyling again, I think. That's crazy. Man's going to lose wild. voice again. 
Just one. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm gonna do a two hour <laughs> challenge. No, 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 listen, listen. I did three hours. I now need to do six oh, hours. Just three hours. I need to do six hours. Oh, you're now. gonna die, bro. I'm gonna do six hours. You should next. like whisper at some points. No, whispering is I'm very bad for your voice. Oh, it's worse yeah, than this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You was a great. You was a great no. streamer. I know. And the uh, thing where you, you, so the the moment you stopped, I think it you died. two, your guys' problem was you guys were too obsessed with numbers. And you yeah. were, yeah. and unfortunately, yeah, it, it was mine. and unfortunately, yeah, was you got fucked by time. It's not, it's yeah. not your fault. Apparently, was every summer, yeah. So every summer, Twitch viewers uh, dramatically yeah. uh, lower. There's something that we didn't know because we didn't stream. So there was a common thing. Plus, you had the Corona effect because Corona stopped and everybody started to go outside. So you had yeah. a double hit. Yeah, I don't. I was listening to a, a Dutch podcast, uh, Danny Lippens. Yeah, and he was talking about it. I was talking about how a lot of people started streaming and they stopped. Uh, not only you, a lot of streamers yeah. stopped around that time. Yeah, and he and he was explaining why uh, it is sad to see because he enjoys the the, the Dutch uh, Twitch scene. And he was like, it was sad to see a lot of people just stop because they were like thinking they were not good enough and their numbers and they care too much about it. But it was like a. It was literally fucked because we you had this whole momentum of viewers that came to Twitch only because of Corona. So your numbers were already higher than people that were streaming before Corona. Yeah. So you had that plus plus the summer dip. So everything hit at the same. You had yeah. two dips at the Bro, same time. Nobody was there anymore. Yeah, nobody no. was there. So but so. also, I tried to do. I tried to start streaming again, and I'm gonna be honest. I was uh, I was spoiled, man. I was spoiled when I started switching. Bro, I told you, I, I I've been told you that from the start. What? That you were getting, that you that you relied, no, that you let yourself get clouded by the rates because you expected the same number every single time because you got the rates. No, no, it wasn't the rates. Yes, it was, bro, no, it no, no, was. no, 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 no. It wasn't the rates. It was not the rates. It was the fact that uh, before I started streaming, people would ask me, "Why don't you start streaming?" Yeah. And then I started, uh. and then my fr- I was literally uh, okay. I, w- I don't want to brag, but I'm gonna brag because it, w- it was an achievement. Yeah. I was in top 500 the first week of Twitch. But you know why? The no, content, the content no, was good. No, I mean like you know why? You know why people didn't watch you? Because I'm boring. No, because more people watch you now. What? It's also a thing. People, we talked about people, it at the beginning of people, this fucking episode. People hate you once they no, not not that. What, wait, uh, what, bro, what? let's say, okay, okay, see it this way. Okay. You're my friend. Yeah. Uh, What's up, bro? You're a rapper. Uh, it's like this. There's going to be friends like me that like your music now. But once you make it, once you once you uh, are the front main stage, this and that, s- the same friends are going to be like, ah, bro, you know, good for him, but I never liked his music anyways. Yeah. And those people are going to be the same ones that go like, Hey, bro, you should really start uh, live streaming on Twitch. It could be something. But once you start to make it and they realize, shit, bro, he's actually doing it. He's, yeah. a, he's actually he's actually succeeding in something that I didn't think he could succeed like that. Now he's going to be like, ah, yeah, bro, nice for you, man. No. But he's never going to watch you. No, I don't think... I Plus, think I want to add something to it. In the beginning, he was unknown. You were small. So a lot of people were like, oh, this is new. Yeah, but that's... Let me I know. see. Uh, I know. With, the, with the bigger streamers, a lot of people were rating you. But after time, they stopped raiding you too, right? After a couple of months. Yeah, but it's not about the raids. No, no, I'm just giving an example. Yeah. So you had you had like also a hype around you for oh this guy yeah. is talented, he he's good at uh, at this thing which was freestyling, rapping for yeah. you, making music, and so a lot of people stopped by to see that. But well, I think what he was also kind of trying to get was at some point, people seen it. Yeah, no, not yeah. Not only that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I once get someone that. becomes big, you just want to hate them for becoming big. Yeah, because it's it, like yeah. I've had the same shit with Logic. On the back example. Ah, but you but told me. Yeah, you told literally, me. Literally, like I used to love him. Like I was a diehard fan. I used to rip that motherfucker. Like uh, all his shit. I used to like listen to it, know all the lyrics, this and that. And then he he went to mainstream. Everyone knew him, and I was like, ah, yeah, bro, this is not good shit, anyways. I don't like this song. Yeah. Well, I was like three months back when it just came out. I was like pop bumping that shit. I was going crazy on that song, and then the song went popular, mainstream. It got like billions of views, and I was like, ah, ah, this song is mid, anyways. That's, but that's interesting. I never liked this song because I with. know that's because that's what I was trying to tell you guys. Like before I started streaming, I created the hype. Yeah. Same with Joey, and when like. 
it was literally like a, like a balloon that popped yeah. when I started. And I, if I were, I, I b- firmly believe if I were to continue Twitch healthy, yeah, I would have I would have been a bit way bigger. Yeah, because the I was also bringing new content plans yeah. and being consistent, that kind of stuff. It literally was like I was growing my empire. But the problem is when you fall. And when I fell, I fell fucking hard. But well, then like everything everything stopped. But yeah. you the fall off wasn't even a fall off though. Because I think for you, you created the fall off. The, the problem for you, because I remember we had to talk about this as well. Because you were. Uh, I was the first the, the first person out of the group that was f- too focused on numbers was me. Yeah. By far. Yeah. Because I started Twitch uh, with Mo uh, and the for the first time we did something and from the first episode I had like 30 average viewers on yeah, Twitch that was yeah, just fucking yeah, yeah. huge. So we go through that motion. I go back for two I go away for two weeks come back. I expect it's not to be the same anymore. I have five viewers the first stream. It goes like, I'm like, ah, I was just a fluke anyways. Yeah. And then the same month that I started off with five viewers, I ended up with like 40 average viewers. Yeah. It was like even better than the month previous. Yeah. So I'm like, bro, this shit ain't even hard. What the fuck is it possible about yeah, this shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm looking at the numbers, bro. I'm top 80, this and that. I'm, I'm going crazy. I'm higher than all these other people. I have better content than all these other people, which I didn't. I'm like, yeah, this is, I had the fucking, I never got raided, which fueled me even more. I was like, shit, bro, why does no one fucking raid me anymore? Yeah, this yeah, and yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And then I got raided a couple times. I got comfortable. I'm like looking at the shit. A uh, couple streams that didn't happen, this and that. And before we knew, my numbers went down. Yeah. But at the same time, like Mo said, it was also decline. And I realized the fucking decline was going to happen because of Corona. Because everyone started I did to go not. Out. I have no clue, man. I started yeah. again. And I did like live streams, yeah. you know, like. But you also left right before the decline of Corona hit. Yeah, bro. And came back right after the, the decline yeah. happened. Yeah. So for me, I, was it was, nowhere, I realized it's going to gradually start declining. But I wasn't prepared for the decline. So when it started declining, I started uh, still, like, a part of me knew it's because of the corona, everyone's going yeah. out. But o- other part of me was like, yeah, but, like, if I'm good enough, it's not going to be this and that. So I stopped because I just, it just, like, fucked me up mentally, and it, it made me reconsider, like, the whole thing. And then I started coming back, this and that. I did a f- couple of things. It worked really well, the dating show and shit. It, it yeah. worked really, really well for me. And then I just, like, got, like, identity crisis where I didn't know what I was going to do because I didn't want to rely on people anymore so for me it was that but for you bro i remember we had the conversation because you were like oh yeah bro i just came back after like not being live for three weeks i was busy with school and all of a sudden bro i can't average more than 14 viewers and you were like 14 people bro that's so little this and that and i'm like and it came even less afterwards and i was i was it was getting to yeah. my head because you were you yeah. stopped you stopped you like Kept the sh- uh, stream short when you had 14 viewers. Yeah, yeah, that's true, man. That's so true. That's you were true. actively shooting yourself in the foot every yeah, single time. Yeah, yeah, I know, yeah, th- yeah, I know yeah, the same yeah. feeling. I had the same shit too. Yeah, a day yeah. like where you're like streaming for half an hour, you're like ah, today doesn't feel right. Nobody's but talking the only thing, in the chat and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, ah, I'm just gonna end stream today. Yeah, no, but like it sometimes it takes like a couple of hours for people yeah. to come back. There's a reason why people like stream nine hours a day. And that's also a very good tip that someone told me. Uh, a friend of mine worked in a bar. Yeah, and he said. Um, like, the last couple of weeks, no one was coming to the bar. I was like, why don't you just close shop? And he was like, bro, when, when you close shop, there and there was w- there's, there's once a group of people that want to go to your bar and you close shop, bro, and then it's done. They yeah. never will come back. Yeah, that's done for. And that's literally what happened to me. Yeah. But now, okay, th- th- that's the thing. I, ha- I still have a Kumutai beat. I still have everything. I still yeah. have the knowledge. I... St- uh, I even got even my new better actually as a person as a creator. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even got my new phone, but the problem is that I have. Did uh, you say you got a new phone? Yeah. <laughs> what does that because have to do with? Because I can do I IRL streams ah, in, okay, in that okay. context. Ah, I like that. Okay. Um, I'm so confused. Yeah, sorry, but the man's just flexing on the <laughs> <laughs> No, but like I, uh, the problem is that I'm my weeks are so uh, random that I cannot get a uh, 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 f- yeah I, c- I cannot I cannot stream at home anymore also that's yeah. a big problem why not uh, logistics reasons uh, okay so I can at least it's not possible right now so um, that's I it's n- I really wanted it I really like I really liked twitch I really liked live streaming man yeah. and also the way that we did it together with well, what would we do bro literally having fun like this with the chat well, you can say what you want, but the conversations that we had, yeah. and I'm going to talk for myself right now, the conversations that I had, uh, those late nights after 12 yeah. when the lights g- went different, you know? Yeah. Bro, those were golden the hours. hours. Golden. They were golden, bro. I get that. But for me, it's more like 
I still want to have this thing be its own thing. I want to, I feel like this is a format that could be bigger than, than it could be on Twitch with all the respect. That's, you know? I understand it, but where so do you want, you want to go on TikTok? Uh, no, 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 of course I want to have this. I want to have clips everywhere. But for Twitch, <coughs> what I had, what my whole channel was based on, was me uh, being a catalyst to creation to create yeah. conversations between people. Yeah, I just brought a group of people. I was like the host. I was yeah. like the glue that kept people together. Yeah, that was. But me, I had man. nothing for myself. No, that was not me, man. I uh, understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but you're like freestyling. But, as but as that's yeah. what's good about you that you had like the, the game shows. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But it was but also like with people. Exactly. It was not so only him. For me, my real question was, what would I be enjoying doing on my own? And there was one specific stream that I did really enjoy. It was me building the Legos. Because I did get like a couple of viewers and shit. But f- besides that, like there's nothing, I feel like there's nothing I could do on my own that I truly enjoy that uh, I could show it yeah. to people. You know what I mean? Because yeah. when I'm cooking, I'm just in my element. I want to be quiet. Yeah. When yeah. I'm gaming... Uh, I, I want to yell slurs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wanna <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, gaming could be an option, but like, no, nah, not um, not like in the. I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, I it's get like it, it's it, not it. the same. I will, I will, yeah. I will try to like keep more composure, and that's like the takes away the the funny part of me gaming yeah. actually. Yeah. So, if I want to do that kind of stuff, if I want to cook, it's just not the same. It's for me the life format that ruins it. In a way, because yeah. it takes away the creativity to be able to do whatever you want, uh, because like you can't just midstream just do something else quickly and then go back to this. Yeah, you know true. What I mean? You can't yeah, like yeah, cook yeah. and then like if uh, I had literally had coo- uh, like three cooking streams, and like one of them, the, my last one, I had to like cook a recipe that uh, something had to boil for forty minutes. Yeah, what do you do then? So I just stood there for forty minutes, just being like, yeah. <laughs> But that's, there, but that's also the thing like there like is yeah today's is beautiful better guys there's a there's a like a, 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 a like a special type of commitment you need to do when you start a stream and i i always had that conversation with my parents like when i start when i start to stream please for the love of god do not come into this room yeah please like i beg you we are live this yeah. is like this you cannot do it again this like this is literally like that's that's the whole thing that Not makes in your it so element basically. Yeah, but that's uh, that's also the charm of it, in my opinion. But I also understand a lot of people cannot handle that. Yeah. But it's also um, that's the difference between YouTube. That's the biggest difference. That it's like it's direct communication, and I love that. I love talking to people. Yeah. And that's what I enjoy about. Uh, I maybe Twitter maybe I'm just gonna maybe I'm just gonna I'm just gonna download Streamlabs on my phone yeah. and just I have the gimbal, yeah. you know. You should do that. That's maybe a good idea. I just oh I just start and I have a have a walk every Monday night or a Tuesday afternoon, yeah. and uh, just talk. Or yeah. just like when you're writing or something, just have the camera there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. me, that's the thing. So like, um, that's what I want. That's what I want to do because I want to have more uh, personal. I, yeah, no, nah, not personal. Like I wanted to stream my creative process. Yeah. Uh, we just like talking and just in between, it, not like uh. You should do study streams. What? You should do study streams. I don't study anymore, man. No, but that's a, a, study str- a study stream is not necessarily that you study. It's a stream where you're just being quiet, kind of. Uh, you barely talk, which fits, because in the beginning, you're not going to have many viewers that are going to talk with you. Yeah. 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 So you barely talk with them. You have like a background uh, sound on, and you just have a camera on, and just write, do stuff. And then once in a while, you're like, oh yeah, this how's the work coming, guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's, it's, it's good, but... Um, it sounds stupid, but I know I can make it big on Twitch. Yeah, I know, I know. But like for me, the, the 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 main thing is where are you w- going? Uh, I was gonna come back, bro. Oh, okay. It's still on. The, the The lens is still open. It should be on. Yeah. So for me, it's I love the the interaction with the viewers because that's what I love. Yeah, I, I, I love l- the sensation. Bro, same. It feels I like you're on a stage, you know. Yeah, uh, but it's it's so fun to like to. But uh, in the begin. Ning. <laughs> in, in the, the beginning. beginning. <laughs> yeah, bro. Uh, because you guys keep saying that, I forgot the <laughs> word. Yeah, sorry, I was like, I was is it the word? <laughs> <laughs> uh, in the beginning, um, you're not gonna have the same interaction again with the same viewers. That's so true. You're not, so, wha- is, what's what's gonna be the case? Are you gonna start? Are you gonna be another freestyle monkey till you like make it to twenty average viewers and then stop freestyling and all the people that are there just for the freestyles are gonna that's be gone? That's true. That's true. Let I me, know for a fact, bro. When you when you were playing video games and you wanted to to deviate from the freestyle content. Or like when you were doing the game show, I saw like at least 10, 20 comments of people being like, oh, bro, 
uh, are you gonna freestyle? Yeah, but but this is the thing. The, let's be honest. The the gaming was because I could physically not do the freestyles all the time. Yeah. And but let's be honest, Brawlhalla went hard. We enjoyed it. Yeah, we, we enjoyed it, but there were barely viewers. No, no it was there it was there were there were, there were people the even participating. In the yeah, games. it was literally. It was not that many compared to freestyles. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, not, but no. But like the freestyle thing is like an entertainment thing. Like it's a show, but yeah, yeah. it still meant that I had. Uh, and with the spell shows, it was bigger. It was even bigger with the with the game shows. Well, there were that yeah, was yeah, that was con- no, because it was a content. Yeah, but that's that was, the thing. That was great. But uh, if you wa- if I wanted to stream four or five days in a week, which I which I did, I couldn't do the freestyling all the time because that's also like a one trick pony. And I wanted I wanted to prove that I w- that I'm not a bunch of pony. And yeah. at the same time, I knew that I was entertaining enough to play Warzone. Yeah. With the boys, and we did, yeah. and you know, I remember, bro, you were there. For our first, uh, our game first, win or our something. first game was a win, bro. Yeah. The way I screamed, and that was just fun. I was having yeah. fun, and that's the whole reason I wanted to stream is to show people, uh, no, not show people, to uh, help entertain people, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. Simply said, that's what I wanted to do. That's why I just like you know. Yeah. Okay, let, let me now talk as the expert. The guy that started stream uh, stream with zero viewers Whoa. and also went back streaming with the zero viewers, you know. Yeah. Uh, I think the big difference between me and you guys is that I actually started uh, streaming first of all without without an agenda. I wasn't trying to become a streamer or to even become big on it. I just did it because a friend of mine told me, "Yeah, give it a go," and I didn't really care. I think that the art of it is being able to keep talking even if there is nobody. And even for me, after streaming with you guys and having the fuse and having the chat, uh, I don't know if you guys remember, but we all had our own community yeah. when we kind of like, s- around the time we stopped. You guys stopped earlier than me and the, I kept streaming for maybe eight months. Yeah. So after that, and I built up this community of let's say maybe it was like 10 f- to 15 people that were there every stream. Yeah. And they kept talking. Some of them stayed for hours and shit. I knew shit about them. They knew shit about me. That I, it was basically say like I had some friends. Yeah. And where it went wrong for me was I also started to t- look at it from my pres- business uh, way. I, sa- I started like to look at the numbers. I started like to look like okay, how can I, uh, how can I become bigger? Okay, I need to p- change language. I went from Dutch to English because I believed in the Dutch people. Uh, I couldn't play the games that I enjoyed. Yeah. And then in English, I started to play games. That were, uh, quote unquote, good for fuse. Yeah. And games that, uh, that I maybe don't didn't even enjoy. Yeah. And Which that's like games like what? Uh, Project Zomboid. No, somebody somebody I enjoyed. In the beginning, I did it good. I was playing games that I enjoyed, but after two months or something in, in English, I tried to grow, and that's like wh- I think where I fucked up. because uh, yeah. I started to force myself into gaming. I stopped doing just chatting. It was something that I always used to do. Yeah. All my streams used to start with an hour, at least an hour just chatting. Yeah. And then I would play a game. But I stopped doing that. I went. I started to go st- straight into games, uh, forcing myself to try to enjoy that. And because I was not uh, enjoying it myself, I couldn't be myself. I couldn't be entertaining like I used to be. I, 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 uh, I started to stream on specific times. So I was like, okay, those are the best times yeah, to stream. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. the best time to grow and shit. Yeah. And I think that kind of all fucked it up. And the reason I said we should come back as a collective is, I think in parts of your stories too, the best moments were always the time we were together. Even on your stream, yeah, like facts. you said, the Warzone moment, yeah, we facts. was playing together. Yeah, facts, facts, if you was facts. playing Warzone on your own, it wouldn't be as fun no, true. or as entertaining. Because I know, that's the thing, it sounds stupid, but I know that I'm a pretty decent gamer. I'm yeah. not like the top top yeah. league guy. I'm not gonna be like yeah. the, the masters, but I know, you know, we dropped twenty bombs yeah. and that kind of stuff. We yeah. did crazy stuff. I did a, I had a, f- I had f- fun moments. You yeah. know, it was really entertaining because we were experiencing yeah, it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The I game d- show, the talk, the yeah. podcast, he, the talk show he had. Why was it fun? Because we were all together. Yeah, fact. we were experiencing it together. Fact. And I think I genuinely believe uh, that you can do multi streams, right? Yeah, yeah. I do multi streams now. Yeah, but also like combine. Uh, there's like a plugin. accounts, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's, uh, no, there's, you can't even do that on Twitch. Yeah, it doesn't not, not even uh, that. Uh, that's a big of a. Should we do it? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying. L- the thing that made us unique and really entertaining was the fact that we were a friend group. Yeah, a 
everybody had their own thing, of course. Yeah. But everybody course. knew, oh, this Ampu, this the friend of Akuma and a friend of Blair. This Akuma, he also knows Blair. He's sometimes on the Blair thing, but he also games with Ampu. Yeah. So people in your chat knew me. Yeah. People in my chat knew you guys. And that's that's the biggest reason that I started is that there was crazy. There uh, were a lot. There were a lot of people who knew me. Yeah. Even before Akuma Tai beat, uh, you know Nabotka, the yeah. old the old uh, yeah. account. They knew me before we started because I was in everybody's chat. Yeah. I was in uh, everybody's stream on Discord, having fun, doing the freestyles already. And that's what also was a big part of the success. Everybody was waiting on that first stream. Yeah. And when I pressed on the fucking, on the start streaming, bro, 20 average viewers, straight up. Yeah. When the first uh, paid, uh, s- what's it called? Uh, affiliate. Uh, affiliate stream. Oh my God, bro, I made money, bro. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. But that w- people were like waiting, expecting it. And yeah. also with the IRL streams, with Lore also, yeah. And also when with Mado, like we had fun together, and because That's you had, yeah. the, I think what the, what the, what also makes it easier to be a great streamer is having people around you. Yeah, I also did yeah. IRL streams on my own. Yeah, but they were not as entertaining as when I did IRL stream with you guys. Nah, because facts. at the facts. end of the day, you are trying to entertain people. Yeah. So you need to have content, and we are content. Let's we are content. Yeah. Solo, we could make content. But together we are always content. Yeah, that's why I'm saying we need to. Uh, if you j- if you guys genuinely wanna come back and j- take it over, I think together is the only answer. But the problem is that's that's the biggest problem is time. No, because no, no, no. I'm for, see, for you me. You're, you're not understanding me. If we all do it on one platform the together at the same account and whatnot, yeah, and combine our names and values to that specific account, that there will be no such thing as time because. If you're free once every two weeks, that's the time you go. Yeah, I'm ah, not. I'm not saying we have to be alive every day ah, okay, at the okay. same. Uh, every single other time, like someone yeah. else is there. Yeah. yeah. So I'm saying we need to have one one account, and maybe once a week we have literally okay. We literally have everything to have a high production streams. Even we could do the talk show. We could do the game shows. IRL. Yeah, that's true. Literally, that's true. You know. So I'm saying we need just but need one account, and if if I'm today I'm playing FIFA. I'm going to play FIFA. We could be in the Discord call. If we just want to have a uh, talking with the boys, we literally have location. We can come here to talk in. Yeah. That it is a content page. Yeah. There's not. But that's that's a p- the problem is there that um, every not everybody comes to all of us. There are people no who are fans the, of you yeah, guys. but still that doesn't matter because they're still coming to that channel, bro. And I think you're overthinking. I'll be honest. One thing that I learned from the past is don't yeah, overthink. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Don't but overthink. I, I just want to make a lot of money from the shit. I'm yeah. gonna be honest. Yeah. I just want. I want this to be. If 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 we do this, I want this to be a success. Like it was a success, and I yeah. believe it can be. But that's what I'm saying. Like the the resource I put into it. Yeah. I got back. Yeah. Double, maybe th- triple. It was amazing. But at the end of the day, now I have a lot of other responsibilities. Yeah, and um, I love doing this stuff. But at the end of the day, like I, if I if I want to do this, I actually need like <laughs> maybe <laughs> come back to the co- to the office. And you can. We literally have <laughs> yeah. s- we have key for you, bro. We literally have a room for you. So yeah, that's sick. Yeah, but I also need like uh, what's it called, like a place to sleep because that's a biggest oh problem. Yeah, that's I that's have not a big problem, bro. Biggest problem. I'll be honest, it's a really big it problem. It's planning on moving out soon, anyways. No, I'm but not gonna move out soon, bro. I'm <laughs> no, financially not st- <laughs> stable, bro. But that's no, but let's. You know like we could do at some point. You could just get out of the office and get a and combine house. the money and get like a, a friend a anti anti cracking house. I was thinking about that too, but and then he can live in it. Yeah. So he has his own crib, because uh, then it's, it's gonna also gonna also gonna be easier for his mom. Yeah. Yeah. Because his mom is will get benefits from him getting out of the house. Yeah. So it's gonna be better for him, like in every single way, and he can also just go back to home and just chill but at home anyways if he wants to have one. I told my m- and we have like a crib. Yeah, but I told my mom. I told my mom. Uh, I'm very comfortable at home, and I'm yeah. very thankful. Yeah. But, um, like I said, logistics-wise, it's not the best place to be because I can literally not make music and yeah. that stuff. But if that's not a problem, you can always fix it. But I, uh, like I said, the only thing I need now is literally a bed, a toilet, and a shower. Yeah. I don't need like a big ass room yeah. or two story things. I know that I'm not, in a sense, materialistic. Like I need one cabinet only. Like I know yeah. how to do that stuff. But, um. Yeah, I don't know, man. I like I I would love to do this this full time, but there are very there are just a lot of things that that cannot make it full time. Yeah. Right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? No, I get you. I mean, I get you you. Can get for the same price that you can get here, bro. You can get like for two hundred bucks, 
That house. I literally house. So that's yeah. like the, I was I was thinking about it. For but what? I, I do not want to share anything. No, no it's, it's not shared with anyone. Yeah. But you can get kicked out. Yeah. At any point. Yeah. It's gonna be thirty day notice. Yeah. But you can get kicked out. That's the only difference. Yeah. But, but that's uh, that's also what my parents said. Like you can go back. That's nice. Yes. Yeah, so, so what does that mean? Yeah. If you, as long as you, realistically, as long as you have parents, it doesn't matter if you get kicked out of your house because you can always just go yeah, back with your parents. You know. That's the good thing. But the the, the, sure the other problem is, is yeah, that's true. the other problem is that's uh, it's all I'm gonna throw it on the table in this podcast. I don't care, bro. Like, uh, I still study, uh, not in Rotterdam. Yeah. yeah. So and now I'm having like free time ish because uh, I don't have a lot to do at school, yeah. but. Um, next year is gonna be busy. Yeah, and uh, then how busy? yeah, like I need to uh, afstudere. I need to like uh, finish. To why not go like Why not go like uh, Dordrecht? No, it's only there. Like my last, year, I'm I'm here for four years. I need to do my last year there. Yeah, I, I get that. I get that. But I'm saying, uh, it's like when I'm done school, studying, isn't it, isn't it like twenty minutes from Dordrecht? No, 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 no. it's far. It's, it's like in the the T, right? Yeah, it's forty minutes. I think it's forty minutes from here. Is it? Yeah. Oh. It's 20 minutes from there. Oh, I didn't know. So if you go there, it's like in the middle of all three. Yeah, I was thinking about the uh, about uh, Breda. That isn't that, isn't that not even like even further? No, I think it's closer. No, it's, it's, it's like it's in between. Lower. Yeah, but the thing is maybe maybe Dordrecht is even better, but the thing is that's that I'm going to be he- I'm going to be saying it right now for everybody who's listening. Thank you for listening. That's the first thing. Yeah. Second thing is it's going to start after I graduate. Yeah, yeah. Then it's gonna be like then then the the you choice the will time, be made. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't have to. Uh, yeah, you could say I have the time, but then it's like, um, how do I say this? Like then is the then I have less of a maybe more burden. Of a goal. Yeah, yeah, less of burden to yeah. like. Breda is better. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah I, I I had them confused. I thought Breda was where Tilburg was. Ah, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, but yeah. that's the I don't know like. I I love doing what I do right now, but there are just so many things to think about yeah. that just uh, logically need to make sense. Yeah. yeah, and I am not able to think about that when I have a Kumajin, a Nitromis Altar, my yeah. own company, yeah, and then still studying. That's a problem. Yeah, yeah. because I, like I said, I love streaming, man. I love that shit. But yeah. you saw it when I was streaming. I wasn't literally. I was literally not making any metal music. Yeah, you were dedicated. I was only only like making some songs but it was in the context but that's what i mean like you can do one if you do one grind the best you can and then you, you make it bigger that w- yeah. that would be cool but yeah but i'm uh, so, so what i'm seeing is that with a co- with a collective channel you don't need to put in 100% every week no that's true because there are people that that have the, yeah. the time and can do it yeah. so that's why i was thinking i was like you can literally have one channel and then maybe once a month or twice a month we can do a high production stream that we have literally location and literally do our game shows and shit yeah. which is uh really dope and the, the other days or during the week maybe blair wants to do a lego stream he can do a lego stream or he wants to do a cooking stream yeah. but with the cook stream i will be in the kitchen talking to him and shit yeah. while he's cooking yeah. and shit so it's more entertaining and he won't be looking at water boiling for 40 minutes <laughs> and shit you know <laughs> so i'm saying yeah. That it is. I'll be honest. It's it's uh it's kind. It's I like know, a foolproof plan in a way. Yeah, it is literally yeah, a foolproof yeah. plan. But that problem, yeah, and it has more benefits than you think yeah, because you're thinking I, about. I yeah. fully believe that. Yeah. But the problem, the problem is in my mind right now that yeah. I don't have like the literally like the the working capacity space to yeah. think about that in a positive way because yeah. I only think about like, okay, cool, this is gonna be sick, but I need to be available at a few days or you know that yeah. kind of stuff. That there yeah. are there are, yeah. yeah. I need to get. Uh, that's the thing. I need to get my <laughs> my own life more yeah. on the rails yeah, yeah. before yeah. I can make yeah. decisions like that. Because otherwise, I'm just gonna be like, uh, an I am already a very uh, pro- when is, like when a projectile. When is the Akuma Jinky music coming out? Bro? Yeah, that's what I mean, bro. You that's said, that's you what you what said he was not going to bring out music this year, right? No, no he said he's not gonna bring out an album. I'm not gonna bring out an album with Akuma Ah, Jin. okay. But now, uh, things I am making music with Akuma, Akuma Jinky. Really? Yeah, ah, okay. yeah, yeah. I made a, a p- like a lot of I demos. I can wait for the clear singing. The clear singing, okay, this is gonna be a different thing. Uh, no, but the no. the no thing is, I, I just like your vocals. Your vocals yeah. have improved over the. Time. I appreciate that, man. But the thing is, with Akuma Jin, because I'm making three TikToks a day with yeah. the Metal Collective and also doing writing sessions, but also having a company next to it, uh, Akuma Jin is literally on the low end of my priorities right yeah. now. Yeah. So I just do my my to do list and the time that I have free, I invest in Akuma Jin. Yeah. 
and that's not a lot in a week. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I like it. I like doing it, and I like having doing the songs and that kind of stuff. But uh, there was also a time was where Akuma Jam was my main thing yeah. instead of the metal stuff. You. Yeah, fa- and I'm grateful for everything that happened. But it it still um, it sounds stupid, but it still also requires money. For instance, yeah. every beat that I have on Akuma Jin is a custom beat instead of uh, uh, only Risk It All isn't, but every other beat is a custom beat made for me. You cannot buy it at anywhere. You cannot download it anywhere. Yeah. It's but that that costs a lot of money, and I would yeah. rather invest that money into my metal collective right now because I I also have to see potential in there, and it's it's a bigger, very big project. Yeah. You know what I mean? So that's the that's the way it goes. It's going right crazy now. right now, bro. It's it's uh, it's like it's such a niche market that like yeah, it's way easier to grow in it, mm-hmm. and I can understand that, bro. That's a, uh, I, I had a, I had a good. Uh, I'm just saying it when I I when. It is this time you guys think okay we r- we need to get back to streaming. I say we need to do a collective. I yeah. I, I want to do it during Ramadan, man. I kind of want to have a challenge set for us. That Stream every day. Nah, I don't want to go to TwitchCon. I want to be invited to TwitchCon this year. This year, well, bro. Don't say things like that, man. I wanna bro. I wanna when bro. when June comes did around. Bro, didn't listen to the whole uh, conversation uh, about uh, looking at numbers and shit. Uh, <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with numbers. Fuck yeah. You know. I know that it's, it's, it's like that's a goal. Okay. It's, it doesn't matter if you don't get it. We have three years to, to get it. That is true. Okay, oh that, okay. that is I true. I want to get invited. Like, w- if you don't get invited to TwitchCon within the next three years, bro, we're doing the wrong shit at that point. We're yeah, doing, of course. We're doing no yeah. number ND at that point. Yeah. I'm saying I want to be invited. Yeah, yeah but I don't want to pay for it. And that's I want to be like, here, bro. Yeah, but that's a, that's a good thing. But that's what, that's what um, I, I also have. This it's not it's not yeah. about the TwitchCon ticket. It's about like I said it to uh, I said it in my workshops. No, it's uh, you're not, not taking free. No, actually, it Bro. is taking free lunches. Yeah, but I I told every I'm telling in everybody the si- in the thing don't take free lunches. What? No. It's like the thing of don't take free lunches. Why not? Because uh, you need to pay for it. <laughs> what? This is like it's like a Red Bull a Red Bull thing. They say don't take free lunches because. I would rather pay for an exchange of value, so they don't take, they don't want, they don't want to be, they don't want to have the feeling of people you doing him do, doing them a favor. Yeah, but it's not a favor. It's like it's an achievement. So they but don't, act, th- th- so they don't do free lunches. No, but that's which okay. is kind of strange. You think about that. I actually want free lunch. <laughs> 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 no, but it's interesting, bro. I, this is I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I always I'm almost honest in that kind of case. I want to be paid to be alive. In yeah. a sense where uh, if I go live on Twitch, it's profitable. If I, the clothes I wear are sponsored, uh, the the knowledge that we have is, is you know, the places I be. My are legs are insured. Yeah, but yeah, literally. Like, for instance, you know what I mean? Like, I I fully believe that uh, that we, I don't know if it's, if I, I am capable, but if we, that we are capable of that. Um, but I know that I'm going to be, that I'm going to be in the position one time. Yeah. Eventually. Yeah. If and not, I got you guys. Yeah. Uh, I told uh, 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 you're a part of the plan. Man. If if uh, if I if if uh, if uh, our life's plans don't succeed, yeah, we're all going to start a restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. that too. Really? In Turkey? No, 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 that, that, that's we're afterwards. That's, yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's yeah. if it does exceed or no, we're gonna start a restaurant. But that's what yeah. that's what I thought. Gonna, actually, I'm yeah, gonna, I'm gonna we're gonna start a restaurant. You will be the chef. I will be the host. So I will g- go to the, the talk with the people and do the restaurants and shit. Yeah. And you will be the musician. It was just the entertainment for the restaurant. Well, I know a lot of people can do that better than me because I'm not. Doesn't matter. Who no, does bro. This is our restaurant, bro. It's our restaurant. Bro. Uh, nah, so okay. It's gonna yeah, be a that's movie. That's a, no. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like, that's a great movie. Uh, there yeah. are a lot of people who are very. I was thinking rich. of a different backup then. Huh? No. no hey, hold up, hold up. What was, <laughs> a, what was your backup plan? <laughs> it involves me shaving my mustache. Huh? I never. Uh, told I me never. Film, I never heard that, bro. But the thing, like I was it's saying, one for another planet. there was, uh, there was a not, there are a lot of people who have a lot of money. Yeah. Um, but it sounds stupid. I literally have so much ideas for businesses and that kind of stuff. And uh, I'm just, tr- I think I'm just trying to grow my starting capital, yeah. so I can invest mm-hmm. and do more and invest and do more and invest and do more. And um, I think uh, that there are many people like me, but maybe less. Uh, how do you say it? Fortunate. W- yeah, less fortunate in a way because I'm I'm very fortunate to be the person I am in this country, for instance. Yeah. Uh, but 
I want to make the best of it, man. I want to, I want to make it work. Yeah. Uh, the collective, uh, Akuma Jin, even though that I'm trying to be more realistic with Akuma Jin because yeah. it's still Dutch music, so it's still gonna be in Netherlands, Belgium, most. Um, the company that I have, but also the people around me, uh, including you guys. I just want, I just want everybody to win in a certain way yeah. that they are, uh, at peace. Yeah. And I know it sounds stupid. Everybody, uh, that's the pr- important thing I always said is uh, if everybody that says that money can't buy happiness didn't have enough to spend. Didn't spend enough to uh, feel that. Yeah, feel if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I, I firmly believe that uh, if you have the right amount of funds, bro, you can do you can do crazy stuff with the right people. Yeah. And I know that money can go to people's heads, but at the end of the day, I know that you guys are honest with me in a sense that if if I were to be a millionaire right now, and I wouldn't have or I wouldn't have to look at, mo- uh, at money anymore, then we would still be having this conversation. Yeah, yeah. we would still be here, maybe in a, in a crazy setup that I bought, but yeah. you know, we would still be doing the same stuff, yeah. having fun. It's uh, for me. It's uh, you said a couple nice things there. Man. Yeah, for me it is. Uh, I don't. I just don't want to have regret. Mm. I I just don't want to be fifty and think I had this opportunity. I didn't yeah. go fully for it. Yeah. And last year was like a wake up call for me because I've been going through a lot of shit financially, emotionally, something else shilly, a lot of shillies. Yeah. And uh, it made me realize that I lost kind of the hunger that I had for life. Yeah. Because I got really comfortable. Yeah, yeah, and it's kind of scary because it's, it's like it's like the thing we started like the uh, the Nazi thing and you think for oh I would there would never be me when you watch movie and you see some a guy that was like hungry and shit and making progress and then suddenly became comfortable you're like why is he doing this that would never happen to me and it literally happened to me yeah and uh, I'm done with being nice basically man yeah because I feel that I feel that many New levels. Year. I watched the videos back yeah. the, uh, that I recorded and I'm done with being nice, man. I'm done with I'm done with trying to change myself, basically. Yeah. Well, like what I said, with streaming and shit, like forcing myself to do shit, uh, s- like censoring my shi- uh, self and and uh, stuff like that. Yeah, suppressing um, yourself, yeah, suppress actually. Basically, yeah, because yeah. you're trying to make it, which is kind of strange. Uh, so I'm back where I was three years ago, I hope. Yeah. Mentally and physically. Yeah, physically not. Better. For, sure. Yeah. for sure. But after Ramadan, hopefully physically too. Yeah. So, so uh, inshallah, bro. Inshallah. So yeah, th- I think uh, with this, it's time to say goodbye. Then wrap uh, it up. Thank you guys for <laughs> watching or listening. I'll be honest, people I'm on YouTube been going crazy, man. I see you guys. I'm going to be honest. I see you uh, guys. I placed my drink all the time here. So it's a possibility that... No, uh, that's why I looked a few times. Oh, really? And? I did not see it. I'm if we see s- it I'm oh, sorry. you mean on my cam? Yeah, yeah it I'm doesn't sorry. matter, bro. I'm yeah. black anyway. Yeah. But <laughs> thanks for uh, watching and listening, especially the YouTube guys. Yeah. I would appreciate it if you guys could comment more too. Just say silly stuff like, ah. No, one. like, wait, give give them uh, a reason to comment. Like, uh, tell us uh, your favorite dish. Tell us what, what yeah, our menu should look like in our restaurant. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What what is it? What is one, uh, one dish but that we cannot forget? Yeah. Make the menu item. Yeah, make the menu yeah. item. Even if you're listening on Spotify, go to YouTube now, bro. Subscribe and let us know in the comments what your favorite dish is. You know, no, no, no. no. Five star on Spotify. It's Yeah. No, no. <laughs> if you're asking <laughs> for this stuff, like... Like, comment, subscribe. No, YouTube. bro. No, Send no. Send it to your grandma. No. Otherwise, no. He, will, he will go ham on her. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, like, the, the thing is, this is a very interesting thing because uh, at the end of the day, how many how many times did you guys... Like and subscribe something when people ask you to. Uh, I, know, I had this conversation no, with him. Yeah, yeah, because when I don't do it unless they tell me to do it. That's what he said. But I said I never do it when they tell me to do yeah. it. Yeah, I only do it when they remind me. Oh, yeah, that's actually a thing. Let me write. Yeah, okay, thing. okay. Good that you said it, but I believe that there is something more that we should, that we could uh, implement. I want to. I want you on this one because me and him totally disagree on this part. I don't agree with what he said, and he doesn't agree with what I said. Yeah. So what do you say? I think that we should do something else. Or instead of saying like and subscribe, I think. Example. Um, uh, playing the sub- Wait, sorry, the the apple juice, bro. The apple juice got me, but it's still coming, bro. <laughs> what? Sorry. Um, the 
the thing about liking and subscribing is people don't know why. Yeah. Often, like uh, you always say, like if you like, if you like uh, having seen this conversation more often, uh, click on subscribe, bro. If you want to help us out, you click on like. But that's also right now not enough anymore for people to do that. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna say this: if this video gets uh five thousand likes, which is insane. Uh, okay, let's do five hundred likes. Which is also insane. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Say five. <laughs> no, no. If, if, if we get okay, if we 50. get fifty, yeah, if we get fifty likes, um, we will do a special, uh, cooking stream, or cooking, cooking podcast. Yeah, cooking podcast. Yeah, that's a good Us three. Yeah, I All and right, I hate same. cooking, bro. I hate cooking, so yeah. that's why I'm. That's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, so if you got fifty, uh, fifty likes on this video, we do a cooking thing. If we, uh, let me see, let me see. How did? Uh, it did not come. Oh, sorry to say that. Way. <laughs> oh, shit. Um, and if uh, how many subscribers do you have for now? Uh, 30. 30. 31 or something. 32. So if you get 50 uh, before the end of Ramadan. No, of 100 before the end of Ramadan. That's too crazy. 100 before yeah, the end yeah, of Ramadan. Yeah. Uh, no, we'll definitely have. On the then uh, the end of then we'll do something nice for the community. Uh, right. With the giveaway, yeah, yeah, like a giveaway food pack to or the homeless or to the. I don't know, man. You decide. Let's, let's give food away to the homeless people. Yeah, yeah hundred subscribers to the end. You guys have till the tenth of April. Yeah, and if you do that, we will give extra food to the homeless. Yeah, we already are obliged to give yeah, food true. to the homeless. But yeah. that's like that's what I mean. Like you, can, we can. This, so I, I'm gonna say it in the camera. Like I just thought about this to do. But we're, we're really gonna do it. But those are like ways you can entice people to yeah. like and comment more. No, we had this conversation, and I don't really want to get into it. But I also ha- I had different creative ideas. I, yeah. w- I wanted like to uh, have creative, uh, maybe editing, edit parts in or stuff like that, in a creative way, make people uh, make people like see something that's really creative and think, oh shit, it was dope. And in this e- in this editing or clip, I also say. For example, I had this idea of uh, pausing the video and saying, this video is sponsored by nobody because you guys are not subscribed. Yeah. So subscribe, something like that? Yeah. And he, yeah. Said, he, told, he said, if somebody did that, I would think it's goofy and I wouldn't subscribe. No, but that's interesting because I um, did that myself. I yeah. literally made a TikTok video. Bro, the editing was crazy on one point on TikTok yeah. where I was like showing a video and it would literally, you saw the TikTok pause. And I like had like the I I ripped the screen. I was like, why are you not subscribed yet? And then like that video got crazy. And yeah. also, I think this the sorry this I have so much to tell because I love talking with you guys. But the last video I did with a night Altar altar mm-hmm. with the riffin. Yeah, the I first saw it. the first one was ten comments. The second yeah. one was four hundred or something. No, nah, like the total like on on uh now it has it has uh, more than hundred comments, but that's times ten. Yeah. Oh. But it also has more than hundred fifty comments on YouTube. Oh, I saw it on YouTube. Yeah. I thought it was 400. Yeah, it was no. 400 likes. Yeah, I think so. Uh, it was 400 likes, 150 comments. See, but that's that's crazy. Like, I gave them a reason to comment. Yeah. Like, and then now, I n- tomorrow, I need to do 100 chugs, which is not a lot. But then, like, oh, we got 100 comments. That means 100 chugs. That's another chug. It's like a guitar. You have a guitar, and it's in a drop tuning. I so thought chug as in drink. No, like it's I thought that as well, but then it started to go. Yeah, rah, rah, then rah, it's a guitar chug. And then you have your palm on the strings, and you do, like, bang. Bang, Does it bang, hurt bang, bang. you? No, 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 no. Okay. But it's it's a cool thing in metal. People like yeah. chugs. Okay. Yeah. When it, when it's a good chug, you're like, oh, that's nasty. You know. Yeah. Like Everyone in the comments like, give us more chugs, give us more chugs. See, like, oh, yeah. that's so that's why. And now uh, we're g- I'm gonna do the video tomorrow uh, where I do more chugs, and then we're where can see. people find it? Sorry, where a can people find you? Chug Maria's altar yeah. on YouTube. And on uh, a night on Mary's altar on Spotify, TikTok, uh, YouTube, Instagram, everything. Link Just go in to the Instagram. Link in the description, bro. Yeah. Exactly, but if you go to the Instagram, it's also there in the description. Where else can we find you? Uh, on uh, in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> what type of streets? It's uh, trying to get some food, bro. I'm like, oh, I'm hungry. Wrong streets. I'm hungry. Bro. I was looking for something else. <gasps> no, I'm hungry. Uh, let's get some food. <laughs> okay, let's get some food. <laughs> thank Thanks you for listening. listening guys. All right, Bye. thank you guys. Bye. I love you. I don't know why the fuck I'm doing this. Stop on the